Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for the game two for the CWC Season 8 Finals? We're gonna see the boys and girls from Change of Circumstance going against Ulysses, challenging the champions of the French community tonight. Of course, uh, from the other side, Change of Circumstance is coming up from CPL, a community with a long standing tradition of putting up uh, quite a bit of um, a fight over there for those prizes. We do need to see um, who's actually gonna win the finals and of course who's gonna get uh, the honor of calling themselves cwc season 8 champion in the next few games oh my oh my bonsoir monsieur rafivi bienvenue monsieur we got marco diablo also bonsoir monsieur how are you doing tonight and ever since uh, good evening sir and welcome i did also see thai pong uh, walking into the room hello there sir and welcome uh, and let me actually take a look over here drink i did drink i did drink not water but i didn't drink a tiny bit of coffee just a tiny sip trojan man 25 good evening sir and welcome zemons hello sir and good evening i did also see him uh, cruising with an up and wine hair and uh, wound uh, will common uh, and you open so much you'll be on video let's actually see what it is over here monster was uh, calling out uh, hope granary no granary turns into city states oh yeah yeah it might be it might be we're gonna see some city states popping off over there flying concord also good evening sir and welcome i did see awful 22 good evening sir how are you doing <laughs> nice to see you tonight i, uh, I do have to also see and uh, uh galaber good evening sir and welcome uh, coc did manage to win game one uh, there is one point awarded for the players um that did come from the upper bracket that is of course ulysse so we do have a one one situation right now um also let me should take a look over here Heine Dave picked up the first and the first promotion over there and the first in the channel <laughs> big shout out to you my man good morning sir and welcome let me actually uh, scroll down to um, the bottom over here and catch up with uh, chat really quickly it is gonna be uh, continents and islands indeed as the map as you can see in the top right corner of the screen uh, this is a restream we're catching this um, information from a legion's point of view and we're gonna need to take a look uh, exactly who is gonna play on what team on one side we do have uh, Rom Rom with uh, Asticos I did see Spirzos over here and let me actually uh, turn this off um you can uh, see it over here there we go uh, there we go so we do have Estico, Sazagi, Firsos and Romro playing for you least tonight and then on the other side we do have uh Tesper Fish with Ben, Corny and Emil the pre-game bands will be um Lincoln, Khmer, Cleopatra, Ptolemy and Sweden uh showing up um well uh, I should say not showing up uh, in the game now on our continents and islands map we're gonna expect uh, quite a bit of uh, naval warfare it is um, common actually to see some um, um inland warfare as well so normal land warfare we're going to need to see how the players will want to try to get a balance between getting that gold and uh, trying to um, smash their opponents to smithereens of course uh, getting an army it is quite expensive uh, we do also need to see um, what are they going to prioritize when it comes to priority in um, uh, the lobby over here with uh, of course um, Ulysses actually having the first pick uh, they might actually want to prioritize uh, give um, the first slot over there a civilization that really needs those great people or those great ones uh, same or getting slaughtered over there is not funny not funny but it is a mechanic that we um, got used to in the game also uh, are the finals best of five they are best of five so good evening sir uh, how are you doing it's currently 1-1 one, one. coc has one point one point because they did manage to win the first game and uh, ulysses did get one point uh, from um, the get-go because they did uh, not lose a game or i should say a series during this playoffs so they came out of the upper bracket into these uh, grand uh, finals uh, looking at the active benefits we do have them uh, going uh, uh, again it looks like uh, they actually had a bit of a mishap over there with uh, one of uh, players uh, clicking esque oh no it happens you know sometimes you get so excited over there your hand starts trembling and poof, it's just oh my god i clicked that oh i'm so sorry i mean i didn't know it was there man i don't know my hand was just like this uh, it happens you know it happens now looking at the active benefits here we do have uh, japan taken out it looks like uh, norway is going to be um taken out of the game or daido coupe portugal and uh, teddy rough rider is gonna sit on the bench of course um whoa whoa chandra gupta being picked up first over here by uh, rom rom and they did ban uh, lincoln but it looks like they didn't think of chandra gupta <laughs> we're going to need to see how ulysses is going to make use of it and uh, if it is going to be indeed uh something 
they will fear. Um, uh, as you can see, they did prioritize as much as possible, uh, taking out the naval, the coastal civilizations from the game. There still are a lot of them available. Eleanor, England, the Victorias, for example, are uh, all three available. Elizabeth, uh, not, like four Englands available. There we go. Um, uh, although, oh, well, we're going to need to wait and see uh, what kind of civilizations they will try to pick to fend off their opponents. Uh, since Shantaguta has been picked up over there, you do know that he actually has some awesome abilities with uh, those holy sites and his uh, shrines. Uh, not to mention Varus, a Varus, a very good unit. It is very peaceful until it attacks. We do have a Corny Sage picking up a Sage Og, and it looks like we're gonna have again some amazing uh, culture with that science uh, being generated in Sage Jong's territory. We've seen before how Muriel can actually play Sage Jong multiple times, and he did very well every time. And we're going to need to see how he's gonna try to pull it off again over here uh, in this game two of the finals. Hello, that starts back. Australia is here. Out of the Australian caravan rush didn't go well. Well, we're going to need to see if um, Australia is going to get picked. It looks like they did prefer to go for uh, Gorgo over here, the uh, Greek leader. Which is going to benefit from an extra policy slot to use, which is very powerful. And at the same time, you do get some extra damage uh, according to how many military policies uh, are you using at that moment in time. Or I should say military policy slots you have in your government better like that we don't need to see how uh, he's uh, gonna try to acquire those bonus damage and uh, uh, at the same time we're gonna need to see how he's gonna pull off the sim uh, Greece uh, you are a little bit culture heavy than usual than other civilizations especially if you go into a pen brush and voice and we're pretty sure he's gonna want to go into a pen brush and voice and uh, we're going to need to see how he's gonna try to acquire that science at what kind of moments and if he is gonna be on time on point with that uh, late game fascism timing uh, we do have Asticos uh, picking up next four team you least that he's gonna need to pick up the second civilization of the roster and it is gonna be Rome a glorious flexible amazing civilization that will get them the opportunity to actually build a lot of commercials get a lot of gold just popping out of those districts over there you you walk by the street and gold pops out of the building ding, ding, ding. That's basically what Rome will do. Of course, uh, there is a possibility, a slight possibility, but there is one. He's going to be forced to actually stay naval and try to get as much uh, as possible a navy going against his opponent. Uh, and we're, we're going to need to see how he's going to fare with that uh, since it is a flexible civilization. It benefits from the free monument, which does give him an extra plus two culture point per each city, which is amazing. Amazing, I would say. And we do have uh, Scotland coming up here as the seventh uh, band. Looks like Grand Columbia is also going to be taken down in, as the eighth choice. Nine and tenth choices remaining here with uh, two more bands. We're going to need to see exactly who's going to not be able to uh, go into this game as a civilization. And what are they going to pick? They still have four civilizations to pick. And uh, as you can see over here, they did pick uh, multiple land civilizations not going for that naval supremacy. Not to mention, I wouldn't even say calling out for gold. For example, Seijong and Gorgo will have a problem when it comes to the gold generation. Um, and I'm saying, okay, they're not going to have a problem when it comes to their own um, sustainability. They're going to be more negative, like positive economy, 30, 40, maybe 50 gold a turn or something like that. But when it comes to upgrading a massive amount of units, when you need thousands of gold points just uh, running down, trickling from the sky into your empire, you kind of need a civilization that is a little bit more focused on the gold per turn so we're probably gonna need to expect from Ulysses uh, a, a pick when it comes to those uh, coastal civilizations or I should say the naval ones and there still are a lot of choices for them to go for. Uh, also, Spain is available. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Spain is uh, definitely available. England might be a good choice. I do agree or there's a gentleman that's agreeing on picking England each. Oh, can you imagine four England in the same game being picked over here one after the other? We're going to get to actually see the tier list in the players' minds about what is the biggest uh, Victoria and what is uh, not the biggest uh, England. I should say in biggest England, not biggest uh, Victoria. Anyway, now we do have Spain taken away from their options. Looks like the ninth choice uh, was occupied by um, Hungary. Not going to have that... Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, hello there, sir. How are you doing? Oh, my Trap God. Oh, retained his knighthood for five months. Thank you hello, so much, sir. Friend. Hello there, sir. How are you doing? 
Oh my god, long time no see, man. Well, uh, did you get some plays going? Did you get uh, to uh, enter the CPL Premier League now? Ooh, 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 so many things happening in the future. Uh, we do have um, formal civilizations to be picked up. It looks like Fish is running down the clock with 10 seconds remaining. Uh, we're going to need to see how uh, Fish is going to try to do this. Victoria, Age of Empire is going to be picked up. Okay. Shall be knighted primer. Granaries before monuments. <laughs> Britannia shall rule the waves. Ooh, hoo, hoo, shall rule the waves. Good evening, sir. Great news before monuments. Yes, yes, yes. Plus, plus. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for the tier one. Much appreciate. For the prime. Uh, sorry, for the, uh, sorry, for the prime. Uh, look like Fish is going to go for the, the gold generation here with Victoria Age of uh, Empire. He is going to get that gold for his teammates. And now we're probably going to need to see also on uh, Ulysse uh, something like that being picked up. Uh, yes, with Rome. Yes, with uh, uh, what did they pick first? Uh, Chandra Gupta. They will have a problem to balance out the total gold generated. Chandra Gupta, definitely not the civilization you are going to think of when you're thinking about big money coming. Uh, it's not that. It's not that. Uh, also, uh, let me see. Nice name. Yeah, England agreement. All. I, does, I don't know. I don't know. The three more seconds to go. And looks like Firsos is not clicking on a civilization. He's not clicking it. He's not telling us who is he going to pick. Oh, my God. Okay. It's Kublai China. It's Kublai China, boys. And goes, oh, it's Kublai China. Okay. So, okay. Okay. I mean, we can definitely work with Kublai China. We've seen it multiple times how it, uh, well it can do actually under stressful situations, I would say. Uh, definitely managed to overwhelm even uh, Japan at some point if in close proximity. So we're definitely going to need to take a look how the players will try to make uh, take advantage of the Kublai China bonuses. And uh, we're going to need to wait and see, of course, what Hazag is also going to pick. He's uh, the last pick coming up from Ulysses. So we're going to know their full roster with Chandra Gupta, uh, with uh, Rome and um, Kublai China being picked up for them. Three civilizations. They do have uh, Hazagi over here that, again, he's uh, thinking a lot about his choice. Um, I do have to point out that Kublai China can definitely make quite a bit of gold. It is incentivized to actually go for those commercials, get those trade routes, and um, we're probably going to need to see him uh, take advantage of that. I'm a bit surprised we do have Kublai China instead of Kree, but sure, I mean, yeah, definitely, I like the civilization. Okay, Age of Steam actually being uh, acquired over here by Hazagi. He's going to have a counterpick to uh, English... And England Age of Empire and it looks like we got a victory condition Sif over here walking in the room Ben is uh, playing with our minds Wilfred Laurier has been selected oh my is this gonna be Wilfred Laurier is this gonna oh oh, oh he's switching to Ambiorix I mean I, I don't think Ambiorix is a good choice I don't think uh Elon is I uh, oh no please don't don't pick the Elon Oh my god, I can't watch this. I can't watch what he's picking right now. Tomatis. Oh my god, man. There are sentences, whole sentences that come through my mind every time he's actually uh, clicking on something. And it is gonna be Tomatis. Oh my god, we got Tomatis in the house over here. Oh, Ben. What are you gonna do, Ben? Oh, uh, this is war, guys. This is war. Yeah, culture victory with Tom and Skek W, man. Uh, we got war. I mean, they, they thought about it. They were like, okay, should, should we actually go a little bit more peaceful? You know, Canada, we're all fine in the tundra. Nobody wants our cities. It's very cold here. You don't want to see this. Uh, and then, uh, just quickly scrolling through other civilizations, Ben finds out Scythia. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this has extra plus five against wounded units. This actually gets a heal. Well, I think I'm gonna need to take down my opponents now. And I mean, this just seems like a much better pick. You know, when it comes to these games, we're gonna need to see where is he gonna be on uh, the map, and at the same time, if he is gonna have that ability to actually attack somebody on the seas. It is amazing to actually see Cynthia fight on the seas when you uh, do pop those heals, but you need to be very careful to not actually lose the boats uh, and uh, win those uh, fights against your opponent. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have uh, so much experience coming up in this lobby with uh, so many, uh, so so many many thousands of hours for each of these players um, put into the game they will know how to counter and uh, at the same time um 
act against their opponents. Uh, also, traps are and I love to play for Sinabuzi, but my only day to play is Monday. Oh, I see. Oh my god, you got so busy, man. You got so busy. I hope it's worth, bro. I hope it's worth. And of course, uh, big health. Big health. Uh, let's actually see who are they going to prioritize in the top um, slot over here. We do have Robron going for Victoria Age of uh, Steam by the looks of it. Air de la Vapeur. We do have uh, Corny going for Seijong. We got uh, Miel, Victoria Air, Imperial Age of Empire. We do have uh, Astic was here coming up with Trajan. That's for Fish is going to be with Tomaris. And I, I guess we don't really care about the other ones below. But there it's Chandra Gupta. And of course, he's still going to get uh, probably at least one general. They, they, they don't really mind. They don't mind what's going to be on the bottom floor over there. Even Gorgo. Oh my God. Even putting lower over here. Okay. Gorgo. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. No. They can't make up their minds, man. It is going to be the fish on Tomaris. I mean, I don't know about this. Uh, we've seen him play beforehand. And uh, yes, it is a good civilization. Yes, it is an amazing player, but it doesn't fit the glove. You know what I mean? I mean, Fish is one of those big brain. Let him actually have 12 cities. Uh, let him be happy with his empire. You know, like do all of that optimization he likes to be doing and then win the game. You don't, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You know, I don't see him all of the time on the front. Line. I have seen him. Don't get me wrong. I've seen him multiple times on the um, in multiple games on the front line and he did very well in them all, most of them <laughs> no, yeah yeah most of them even in very hard situation he did very well uh, but still i don't know man it feels like you know it like seeming fits him like a glove a warning <sighs> Uh, I don't know, not so much. Uh, what's the map? Continents and Islands. Oh, thank you so much for reminding me. Let me actually put up uh, the map name over here. And oh my God, it's going to be a long name. I'm so sorry about it. Continents and oh, is that a double S? And Islands. Oh, I see. Yeah, he can seem big, but he enjoys the work. Commander's name. Good evening, sir. I mean, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I know, I know what you mean. I know what you're saying over there. I'm just saying, you know. I have my own opinion about this. Dido Dikan, good evening, sir. Uh, fish brain is the biggest. Well, we're going to have to put that to the test again in this game. Also, um, was talking about his... Uh, this with Jessica before. He preferred war. <gasps> oh, he prefers war. Okay. Well, Rima vote. Uh, good, uh, good question over there. Thank you so much for uh, reminding me. Let me actually put up uh, on the screen over here the start prediction. Uh, who will win between COC and Ulysses? 30 minutes to go, and uh, we're gonna have the second game uh, started up. Uh, actually, wait, sorry, sorry, how many maps? 0 1 2, let's put it for 5 minutes. Oh, totally forgot about this. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. Hey, Bonsoir, Eddie Coffin, good evening, sir, and how are you doing? Also, Kublai, when was the last time we saw him? That is so true. And I have, oh my god, you know what I did, guys? You know what I did? I did it again. I actually wanted to move the screen myself. Oh, this is awful okay wait wait we need to fix this somehow oh my god no okay uh we're gonna have uh i guess uh the face the beef is here we're gonna watch we're gonna watch liege he's gonna be behind the cwc logo but it is what it is man we're gonna do what we're gonna do let me actually uh switch the screen over here uh this no hello oh wait this did i you know that weird moment when you know somebody's uh okay there we go there there where's the other one which is open and i don't see it oh there we go there we go okay much better now yes much better now yeah 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 it's, it works it works it actually works and we're gonna see leech over there and i'm so sorry i don't know if i i guess i can make the logo a little bit bigger but that's uh maybe i should move it actually give me a second i can move stuff around oh my god i'm sorry need to adapt really quickly to this and then uh, we're, we're gonna come back uh, to the game okay let's do this let's do this And then let's go. Ooh. 
There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Uh huh. And now somebody's gonna wanna put a lot of points for me to change something. And I'm thinking, uh, well, can we not? Uh, anyway, no, I hope I hope it's uh, fine here. So we do have uh, the map uh, coming up tonight uh, between these two amazing teams, UOC and um, uh, Ulysse on the other side. Ulysse uh, actually did want to uh, be in the finals for quite some time now. Uh, we, uh, we do uh, have them managing to actually recruit new players in the form of Hazagi, for example. And uh, they did manage to um, get the synergy going. And now they are a top team over there coming up from the CFR squadrons. And we're going to see them perform in this game against COC. They did have an advantage when it comes to um, winning the upper bracket with one point extra. But COC came in swinging and got the second point on the board uh, we do have um, uh, as you can see over here Ben Penning, um, Gorgo we do have also Task for Fish on Scythia um, Emil is going to be the one with uh, England uh, Age of Empire we do have also Courtney on Sejong we got Firsos on Kublai China we got uh, Chandra Gupta on Hazagi looks like Astikos is going to be the one with uh, Rome and uh, Rome Rome with Age of uh, Empire Age of Steam uh, sorry uh, Victoria we do have the city of Pana actually benefiting from uh, quite a few of these um, camps tiles oh i see i do see a deer tile i do see an ivory tile over there i do also notice he's gonna have in the second city a possibility to work that uh, coffee with some extra point of uh, culture very nice addition uh actually has a decent amount of land to settle over there and i don't see him actually having a way to fight Scythia on his east side that's gonna be probably a bit of a problem for him also um, uh, they put blue with uh, red impossible to see yeah no, it is uh, it is kind of weird. Uh, so it would seem culture over gold. Yeah, it looks like they are. They are. It is what it is. We do have uh, China also uh, coming up to the south, uh, to the middle of the map actually on the east side of uh, Scythia. Uh, China is going to be an opponent of uh, Scythia, and since he is on the same continent, we're probably going to see some kind of sparks uh, flying over there between their two empires. I do also notice we do have Age of uh, Empire over here, or is it Age? Oh no, that is actually Age of Empire. And ooh, Steph, thank you so much oh my god my heart thank you so much Steph much appreciated two tier one subs over here gifts over oh Vito hello there sir and good evening we do have also MC Imp good evening and welcome welcome thank you so much thank you so much uh, okay so it looks like we do have uh, for some reason actually um uh, uh, one of the um, one of the casters needing to reconnect to the game uh, we do have uh, by the looks of it also him uh, should be reconnecting soon by the looks of it we do also have uh, Sejong actually in the eastern part of the territory with uh, Rome next to him he's uh, gonna have uh, interesting opportunity for warfare over here oh, on the Pio Pio Tahi they're actually gonna fight well uh, Age of uh, Steam is on the top right part with uh, the city of London he's gonna be an opponent of, um, uh, of uh, Sejong Sejong? Yeah, Sejong was there. So Sejong actually has the opportunity of uh, probably taking out uh, at some point England. We're going to need to see if he's going to manage to um, get as, um, as much as much as possible that um, science going in his culture. Uh, we do have uh, also Kublai China in the southern seas. I don't see anybody on the seas with him, so I don't think that's going to be a threat. Uh, there could be actually Age of uh, Empire Mirror uh, trying to get into those seas uh, to help out um, uh, Scythia. We're going to need to see what kind of um, uh, solution he's going to try to get. I'm actually quite curious if he can make a canal from the east to the west, but it looks a bit, no. Doesn't look like he can actually have that many uh, tiles, unfortunately. It is what it is he does have a reef fish tile in the capital which will allow him to grow his population much faster which is always good um good city on the east side on that um uh, citrus tile two four five to settle not bad actually timing to actually get the settles going every turn counts here and we do have also Pekin uh, from uh, Kublai China, but it looks like he's uh, also going to have a full coastal uh, division over here. No fresh water for him, unfortunately. Uh, looks like uh, Sejong is also going to be right next to Gorgo. Gorgo can actually go against Rome and uh, Sejong can uh, try to save on the east side. Uh, we're going to probably see two 1v1s uh, over here. Or actually, wait, this map has the possibility of three 1v1s with a possibility of getting one of those into a two v two versus one uh so who's the one uh who's the odd one out who's actually the odd one out is that hazagi with chandra gupta Shand yes hazagi with his own island over here is gonna have a problem to actually get out with his varus to try to um flex his muscles his military muscles against his opponents and we're going to, need to see how um 
He's gonna try to make the sim over here. Uh, yes, he can definitely do quite a bit of sim, and we're gonna need to see him, um, well, uh, get his uh, brain going. Uh, this is barely turn 4 out of 250. It's gonna take a while until we're actually gonna see them uh, settle on the map. Uh, they do have a remap token available for each team. Uh, turn 10, then we're gonna have a pause. We're gonna wait for the game uh, players, actually, for the players in the game to um, make a decision when it comes to this. Well, we do have, um, by the looks of it, Panna started to get his uh, second scout out uh, they don't want to invest into him at the moment with uh, 60 gold so he can get a scout uh, they probably do have other investments to do in uh, tiles and so on and so forth i do see panna does have a 2-3 deer tile that's actually the third uh, deer tile that i didn't notice earlier uh, very nice by the way from uh, london to have the ability to settle directly on pop here and get those tiles working from an early stage he doesn't really need to fight on the eastern side but he definitely wants to uh, get that going i do have to point out uh, uh, chandra gupta and the uh, England Age of Steam might actually uh, get their economy connected at some point because they, they're really close to each other when it comes to the seas. At least uh, they can push cities towards each other, so it uh, makes it a little bit closer. Now we're uh, gonna need to see if uh, they do want to keep this map or not at the moment. I, uh, I mean, uh, if they want war, they will definitely keep this map. If they think uh, the combination between their civilizations is gonna be good, it's also gonna be um, uh, well a, a positive answer. I am uh, just uh, realizing that, of course, uh, yes, they might actually just know their civilizations and their opponent civilizations. They might not find out about where everybody else in the game is. This is turn six at the moment, and we don't actually have scouts next to each other we're gonna need to wait for them to actually meet so they can declare war so they can see a sliver of loyalty in uh, different uh, parts of the map that they did manage to discover so they can get an idea of uh, where are their opponents are they actually gonna be close are they far uh, who is uh, gonna be playing what it looks like over there sage might actually meet um, uh, the scout of rome uh, to the northwest of uh, the city of seoul uh, seoul well he, interesting he's gonna know about rome but he's gonna, not gonna know about god Go. He can just uh, try to see something over there. It is what it is. I think I need to do something else over here. Give me a second. Okay, like this. Like this. Uh, okay, now five minutes got over so quickly. Yeah, yeah, it disappeared, man. It went in and flew out. <laughs> Anyway, it uh, looks like uh, we are going to need two more uh, turns to actually get this going. Uh, they're turn 8 and they did beat each other. Ulysse and uh, Sejong uh, are going to know about each other. We might actually see a war declaration being sent uh, so they can see the loyalty or ask the players that did meet, of course, uh, Rome and uh, Sejong respe respectively. Uh, we also take a look at the northeast. We got some settlers uh, popping out of the city of London, for example. It would be quite important for him to actually get another city on these same seas. He does have a 311 fish to work and I do see a die star actually in a possible second settle to the south if he doesn't want to go for the Pio Pio Tahi faster. Overall, I think actually Pio Pio Tahi is a bit more valuable than that extra faith that you get from the dice tile. Yeah, we do have uh, Yuli's uh, Rome actually uh, in the top left part of the right most map yeah yeah okay and we do have uh, Rome coming up here with uh, the one three deer tile not uh, benefiting from that extra food he does have some food coming up from um, uh, either a horse or a sheep tile I'm not so convinced that that's actually that good of an idea to actually work both of them to be honest but anyway his uh, two population I know did they buy him a setter no he actually finished the setter and put him in production put another one in production in six turns and we uh, do see Sparta over here he's going to need to pump out that settler. Seoul is going to need to pump out the settler. There are a decent amount of uh, hills uh, next to the city of uh, Seoul so he can uh, make his Seoul great and we're going to need to see also how he gets those mines uh, on the Seoul and try as much as possible to uh, get those points on the board for him. Now we do have... Um, Okay, he's moving to the southwest. He's going to want to get that 3-1 uh, base. Not bad. Of course, uh, I do have to mention over here. We're still watching what's going on. I do see the war declaration has been sent. They definitely are uh, going to try as much as possible to um, gather the information, uh, the loyalty information about their uh, opponents. 
so they can see them. Uh, I think they did figure out that Chandra Gupta is going to be all alone over here. They do see most of this territory and that there's not much uh, loyalty minus uh, anywhere other than him, of course. We're seeing, by the way, on this lens, we're seeing the minus towards an uh, observer, basically like a third party to game, not uh, between them, which is a little bit unfortunate. It would have been amazing to see the different numbers that are changing you know, depending on um, who are you asking when it comes to border proximity. Um, you lead three maps, then your Dingo is going to call it out. Will you lease? You think they're going to remap with Chandra Gupta all alone over here? I guess they're afraid of a possible two versus one. And I got to say, Sejong position over there between England, they have uh, Steam and uh, Rome uh, might be uh, deadly, I would say. Deadly. We never know what happens, man. You never know what happens there. Yeah, you lease remap. Oh my god, Daniel Dingo, you have some uh, information, some inside information over there. Uh, yeah, Steph, yeah, yeah. How are you doing, man, by the way? Okay, let's see. We got a pause, we got a remap generator started, so we're gonna need to wait uh, for it to finish so we can actually see the next map. And uh, well, we're gonna have to wait and see. Continents and islands, as you can see, actually, the map will does generate with uh, a lot of uh, seas on it. Uh, sometimes it does generate with like two very big continents, or uh, maybe with uh, one tiny one sprinkled in the middle. Sometimes it does like this uh, with um, two bigger ones and one smaller one, but it's quite big, and that one as well not a significant difference between them so sometimes we just see two massive continents and little tiny islands sprinkled around them oh my god somebody's talking about me Ooh, yeah it is what it is man it is what it is okay um pause party and pause we're loading into the next map and we're gonna start seeing the details uh, pour in and we're gonna need to see how the players are gonna try to uh, make as much as possible advantage uh, and uh, create an advantage for themselves now, map terrain a lot of the times does make uh, quite a bit of an impact when it comes to the player interaction and uh, at the same time we do have them with very very powerful civilizations walking into this game these are no simmers these are brawlers i gotta say i can't wait to actually see those sucker horse archers just running around the map trying to figure out where their target is and at the same time we're gonna need to take a look if chandra gupta is gonna have the ability to actually use those bottles against somebody now we do have um well the new map generated over here it looks like uh, this time whoa what's that what's that on the map over there okay well it is what it is it's kind of a fun map what can i say anyway it looks like a seahorse or something on its side now we do have uh, to take a look at each of their spawns again and we're gonna slowly start moving the screen uh, towards that end let me actually take a look what's uh, going on over here come on move the screen please to a little bit north you can actually see Seijong Corny uh, yeah Seijong Corny is on the zero zero and the five gold of course he's not doing anything uh, by the looks of it wait is that Corny? yeah that is Seul he did actually oh my god the UI didn't update no oh, okay well I guess uh, Leech is a little bit preoccupied with something else and we'll see uh we'll see how it is Uh, Coastal Chandra Spawn, yeah, uh, let's see, what do we have here, okay, England, with the, the England is Age of uh, Empire, is actually going to be next to Sejong, closer this time, there's also Scythia, oh my god, on the same seas, this is going to be a disaster for actually Ulysses, uh oh, oh my god he's gonna find out so quickly <laughs> like uh, three okay he's gonna get a scout out in three turns it's fine boys it's fine he does have some reef tiles to work a lot of jobs for him to actually benefit from and i do see he's gonna have a decent amount of coast to go to the northwest uh to the east side so close to him Scythia being on the same seas uh they're gonna have the opportunity to actually fight each other and then sejong might actually clean up on land you gotta be careful when it comes to uh, these coastal civilizations and their positions because one of the big problems when it comes to playing navally is you don't really have the time and the resources to actually split your attention between uh, defending on land and at the same time attacking and or uh, defending on the seas there's just way too much for you to handle when it comes to moves when it comes to production uh, total production necessary in the, the boats and the, uh, everything that you need even projects for admirals and so on you you can put all of that in and uh, count the total sum up of uh, the effort that you're gonna have 
Uh, the problem with this is in this particular situation uh, them actually having a two versus one uh, possibility against an opponent and at uh, a relative early stage in the game uh, um, the bonuses on the galleys of um, Scythian work uh, just the same as um, they work on the catapults when they're galleys and uh, we're going to need to see if he's going to actually want to be aggressive over there and of course if he will have the opportunity and sometimes uh, closing off chokes sometimes actually deploying some units to stop your opponent from uh, creating a mass of uh, bows that you cannot control control anymore is uh, of course um, something that the player can actually defend himself with on the other side with uh, Corny benefiting from probably from um, a nice uh, science output and at the same time a decent culture output we're probably going to see him uh, try to go against his opponent with those um, uh, with early units we might see some horses we might see some uh, something a little bit um, stronger like coursers uh, depending on how much he's going to want to wait to attack into his opponent I wouldn't say he should wait that much though uh, anyway and we do have Pan now over here with uh, India this time Hazagi is uh, actually going to be on the eastern seas if he chooses to go or oh, no he's not oh wait if he chooses to go to her he might have a no actually in the middle of the map over there I do see there's a line of um, continent and I don't think uh, actually that's breachable uh, anyway he's gonna actually gonna need to cover the map to the east side if he wants to get into the action on the naval warfare he does have to the north uh, Rome by the looks of it uh, to the west side that's gonna be Gorgo uh, right okay I'm pretty close to Chandra Gupta not bad actually uh, when it comes to this so uh, it does look like also Seoul is gonna be close to Gorgo so he's gonna have an ally on the, his east as well he just needs to focus his efforts to go to the west side and try to punch in uh, those uh, Victorian cities uh, we do need to see also where England is as in England Muel is and that's gonna be quite an important information coming in because he needs to he probably is coastal somewhere uh, but not knowing his position does actually oh i think i know where it is i think i see him on the western side so he might actually have the opportunity to control the western seas uh properly uh, there could be of course a coastal trade being uh, created over here between uh, the empire of uh, Sejong of Corny and uh, at the same time thanks for fishy alpha uh, we do have a builder actually started up first in alpha not going for the scouts and so we is also gonna try to get the monument out for the extra culture and it looks like uh, the builder of alpha is gonna finish next turn he's gonna get a few of these uh, ships to improve into pas with pastures and of course I do see the reef fish over there for him as well not bad actually for some uh, later on uh, district adjacent Jesus towards campuses now um, they might not meet each other before the remap token is going to be uh, sent and or get got to be used and I do have to say um, uh, the spawn of Scythia without that opponent without the knowledge of having the opponent relatively close to him uh, might not look that incent uh, that inciting that uh, exciting I should say um, in his mind that's a bit unfortunate and of course we're going to need to see if they will consider this is uh, worthy of actually remapping this of course that's for fish is um, a very known player for actually playing uh, weaker than usual spawns and still making them uh, work we're going to need to see if he's going to do it again uh, he does have on the east side uh, to, he needs to be careful on the east side so he doesn't actually settle uh, right in the front of Chandra Gupta it looks like Chandra Gupta will have actually the same seas and this is going to be a problem Chandra Gupta being over there on the coast uh, it will put him right dead in the sights of Muel with the uh, Age of Empire England uh, that is just sitting over there on the eastern uh, uh, borders not borders how do you call it the shores I guess shores yeah I, that's the word uh, coastal Chandra spawn yeah uh, we do have a Kilimanjaro actually oh my god this is amazing actually for uh, Sparta is gonna get to uh, settle that northeastern tile over there and uh, get the benefits of so much food from the Kilimanjaro tiles not to mention the added benefits of production a little bit later on and the era score that you get from actually settling next to that wonder and uh, well improving the volcanic soil of course why not now we do uh, take a look over here we're turn seven and the players will have three more turns to actually uh, try to get as much information from the game as possible they are using the scouts they're using their warriors sometimes even their builders to gather as much vision as possible around the cities not only to uh, try to uh, make out where their um, uh, opponents are but at the same time try to figure out where they should actually send their early settlers uh, there's a massive difference between actually uh, settling a good city at the beginning and a, a relatively um, mediocre or even lower than me mediocre city at the beginning uh, the, the difference in tempo is just incredible i would actually 
actually suggest you try this out at home. Uh, you try to load in a save and you try multiple spots to see how actually your empire uh, develops in uh, different situations. Same capital, a different uh, uh, order of uh, second and third series in order of um, you know, what kind of tiles you have available and of course uh, how juicy they are um let's actually take a look what's going on over here okay they don't know on the west side anything they don't know uh, there's a seeds uh, over here that i think they're laughing of I, i'm not sure exactly what it is because i barely had time to uh, uh to uh, read it well there is galapagos islands on the west but this is one of the worst galapagos islands i have ever seen there's only one resource on it even that three food and the four um, the science style is just not worth not worth bro, not worth at all unfortunately anyway we do have actually the biggest science uh, generated by ben is on four science with uh, two culture that's make me uh, wonder if he does have something like an extra culture point from a tea tile or maybe he actually set up the geothermal or uh, how did he get there because i'm pretty sure he didn't actually get to bronze Working so fast to actually discover iron and work that extra science point and we do have a few science city states in the game with uh, geneva being one of them and we're going to see who's actually going to get what uh, soon oh looks like birmingham might have a problem that's uh, kublai china to his northeast and they did discover each other oh wait no they're allies wait what they're allies that's wrong oh wait that no 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry i was watching um, england age of uh, steam instead of empire empire will have the problem with kublai khan yes 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 okay so there's a one versus one over there and then we do have a two versus one over here and then we have uh gorgo that needs to keep at bay chandra gupta and to his northeast uh, age of uh, steam age of steam that's a problem actually with age of steam being so far away from an opponent they can actually use her uh, to see as much as possible and uh, try to get to that uh, mid to late game where actually age of steam starts to shine quite a bit so what does everybody think daniel dingo is calling out another remap over here are you sure sir i mean i don't know i i guess you're right when it comes to alpha this is this is one of those moments when you have to be really really careful what you actually vote for this is a, a good situation a relatively good situation for coc not that good when it comes to um uh, Ulysses, to be honest well, i guess we're gonna have to wait and see if uh, they're gonna want to keep this map or not remember Ulysses already used the map uh, token earlier so this is uh, basically the second uh, generation of the map with only coc benefiting from a remap token if they say yes we're gonna see another map if they say no we're gonna sit on this one and it is gonna be a yes <sighs> i don't know why why i'm so excited by the way about this uh interesting okay i mean yeah I, I, it is what it is we're gonna have a third map started up and soon we're gonna see the loading screen so we can um, take a look how that map looks this is it no more no more no more new map tokens no more new maps no more nothing this is whatever happens next they're gonna have to play it of course unless we're gonna have a technical situation which i hope not uh no i'm sorry steph i'm sorry manage choose outcome two remaps oh my god somebody just got uh, what 5773 points you got it you got it yeah it's getting remap man unfortunate I, this is i gotta say this is very unfortunate They didn't know about the two versus one. They didn't want to take a chance. And I can totally understand why they didn't want to take a chance. I mean, this is the finals, you know. You don't really want to throw it uh, to chance uh, in the finals. Yes, they are tied right now. But uh, the game can actually go very, very fast uh, against them. So you got, they need to be careful. They need to be careful. Uh, maybe we're going to see a stronger spawn when it comes to Scythia. Maybe we're going to see also... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure, actually, we're going to see different proximity between the players. Now, when it comes to um, uh, their opponents and their allies, we're going to see how the map generated. It looks like this is a much more clumped land than we've seen the last time with uh, two very big continents actually the continent on the right side does have a um, bridge to actually go for the other continent uh, roman uh, is going to populate the west side we do have also age of uh, steam over there in the south on the westernmost part we're probably uh, yeah we're going to have age of empire uh, looks like also china to the northwest uh, age of empire will be in a pro in a bad position this time now he's going to need to um 
uh, defend the land uh, against his opponents and the seas. And we got City also next to Gorgo. They can both hit uh, China if they want to. But uh, City is actually going to fight. Oh, I see. So one versus one and another one versus one with another one versus one on the seas. And they're probably going to... is gonna be another one versus one somewhere and uh, we do need to see where uh, gorgo i believe is missing and uh rome did i i think rome i think we didn't see rome i don't know where rome is anyway uh, so chandra gupta versus uh city over here i'm pretty sure it's gonna be well matched when it comes to um uh, what's gonna happen over there i'm pretty sure he's uh i'm gonna manage to try to get as much as uh, possible those cities out and try to get an opponent get to his opponent okay gorgo will actually have a continent uh, with uh, rome uh, they're gonna get to fight each other okay i mean that's not ideal and definitely not ideal now i do also notice uh, zangi tanksia is gonna be a wonderful available for london uh unfortunately that's actually going to be a bit awkward to acquire the tiles are quite far away from the freshwater settle the closest freshwater settle he can do uh, samarkand with zanzibar and kahokia will be the commercial ones we got uh, nazca for the um uh, phase generation anshan will be the one uh, for uh, science uh, and i guess i didn't actually get to remember the other ones oh man uh, it is what it is uh near leap hello there sir why isn't uh, leech playing that's a good question i think he just wanted to actually take a look at the boys and uh, try to make some uh i would say uh, commentary uh gorgo double volcano capital let's go uh, gorgo man gorgo is gonna be big now uh, looking at uh, also what's going on it looks like philsos is the only one that didn't actually settle his city at the moment uh, we do have uh, newcastle upon tyne uh, each of uh, empire victoria uh, with uh, the white colors uh, we do have him with a 311 fish he does have a 22 base and he does have a decent amount of uh, coast to go for to the north uh, i do see a few cities to the southeast uh, but it not might be in, in, yeah it might not be enough for him uh, at least he has one two three four five i think i counted five over there it's all good uh, he's going to need to trade punches with his opponent over here london and uh, i find it doubtful that we're actually going to see uh, what is it gorgo over there enter the war early on against london London, but he can do and that's a major advantage when it comes to um, uh, getting this war won uh, there are a lot of uh, possible uh, very good campuses uh, coming up for uh, age of uh, steam um, england over here we do have uh, him on the west side with a lot of mountains and uh, some geothermals next to the mountains uh, he's also gonna have a very good amount of um, uh, cities to settle on his coast to the west side and to the east side it's just a matter of uh, getting those settlers uh, to walk so many tiles now uh, i we do also need to take a look how they're gonna try to make a, take advantage from the resources they were given or their bonuses from a pantheon now uh, it's uh, definitely gonna happen they're gonna try to get uh, the early faith going so he, they can uh, have an advantage early on either in production for example from multiple pantheons like uh, god of craftsman um uh, you can do that the stone circles for example is gonna be another one uh, if I take a look, quick peek at uh, the lands of um, Age of Steam over here, well, uh, we might be thinking maybe um, God of the Sea or even, oh my god, man, I, I know I saw a lot of uh, mines over there that can be created and my mind was like, oh, can you imagine all of those amazing yields from uh, religious idols but then i remember like what is england gonna even do with that you know like he's, he's definitely not gonna want that he's gonna want the production he's gonna want uh, a little bit of extra bonus over there into his uh, districts or something definitely not what um, i was thinking of uh, stone circles uh, kublai khan probably yeah we might see him go for that and uh, we do have actually gorgo uh, very close very close to england if you take a look he's just uh, two cities away from actually making his uh, flag or putting his flag into uh, the london city uh, we do need to see if he's going to manage to get um, his cities and the defense against the north so he can focus his efforts against the south with uh, Asticos uh, being in the north over there i do have to say that he's probably going to be uh, comfortable at uh, getting a lot of cities in the north uh, part of his empire what i did not get to see which is a little bit unfortunate is uh, i didn't get to see how many uh, how many cities he can put on fresh water on that land or and, and how much effort he's gonna need to spend to get that empire big of course uh, since we're um, talking about um, asticos over here we do know he likes wide empires very big empires 14 15 cities wide if possible but at the same time he's also a player that the uh, it does what he needs to be doing not what he wants to do in the game uh, is this game two or game three good evening sir this is game two sir this is game two 
or I guess depends on how you count. This is the second game played, but the third game to be scored. Is that does that make sense? Um, anyway, uh, looks like uh, Hypatia is gonna be the first uh, scientist, and they're gonna have uh, somebody try to go for it. I'm pretty sure uh, somebody's gonna put uh, some campuses on this map. Uh, it looks like also the players are starting to. Um, uh, and their turns and uh, since we did go through turn one and now it's going to be a little bit faster faster and faster because the, and there is a time limit for every turn and we're using a dynamic turn timer which actually switches the time um, according to the civilizations in the game according to how many cities according to actually quite a few factors over there that does make it um, better adapted to uh, what we need as players now uh, it looks like also from the uh, yeah there we go we get to see the roman land we do have a lot of fresh water for him a possible may settle to the west side actually two may settles uh, two possible may settles to the, the west side he does have uh, this cattle settled to the south that he can use as a jumping uh, station uh, towards the city of uh, kumasi so he can uh, get into the game to defend his ally over there from uh, the approaching danger of gorgo well he does have uh, access to iron in the capital city he also has uh, horses in the third ring and uh, i do see to his southeast he's also gonna have good land to settle towards gorgo directly towards gorgo stay away from the coast but get that fresh water from the rivers so he can uh, get closer to his opponent over here on the city of sparta and we do have um, the meetup between uh, two opponents uh, sejong and uh, kublai china have uh, met over here and it looks like uh, well we, there is a standoff from across the two river shores and uh, we do have uh, also uh, seoul getting a uh, Mm, settler in four okay okay well we've got another scout coming up from penny okay that's fine actually that's fine i don't know why for some reason i thought uh, kubla is actually gonna get the settler in one and i was like oh my god he's gonna be so fast on this what is gonna happen tonight but anyway he's five turns away so there is um an advantage over here for Korea. Uh, he does have a 3 2 banana tile to actually work to get some extra um, you know, food going into his uh, cities. Actually, two 3 2 bananas to work over there for that extra pop to work more tiles. They, he does need to keep investing into his uh, tiles so he gets more 2 tools to work. As uh, I can see over here, well, he does need to actually buy one now so he can work the 2 2 on the west side and next turn. Actually, I'm thinking maybe uh, actually the uranium tile is a 2 2 anyway, right? It doesn't add the extra production at the moment from uranium. It's all good it's all good um do you get the right impost after meeting an enemy or from the start of the game uh, you should have it from the start of the game yes uh, there was the bug actually at some point that uh, didn't give you that bonus and then we fixed it uh also hunter priester good evening sir and Sasu, hey, Bozo, Monsieur, bienvenue. Oh my god, the biggest emotes, man. Hey, uh, you gotta be careful tonight. And Sasu, there's also a flying Gonquat in the lobby over here. And uh, you never know what emotes he has in his store. Oh uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if uh, there's uh, gonna be any kind of uh, emote fight going on in the chat. Okay, we do have uh, Alpha coming up with uh, Settler in three turns. Uh, he did meet actually Chandra Gupta right next to his uh, captor. He's going to need to be careful where he's actually going to settle his next uh, city. He can go directly to the west side and put the city next to that 2-3 uh, deer tile for a possible 2-2 two, two, and uh, access not only to the deer uh, extra production but also to the culture point of the south over there for the silk tile. Uh, we do have um, also some skirmishes going around. Looks like Lee is pointing out a very good settle between the two uh, Coco tiles over there where he needs to be careful and uh, one of the things that can happen is he's just going to put a city to the north over there on that olive tile uh, he can go to the west side on uh, his uh, sheep tile and of course um, it does look like Korn is just blocking the direction of uh, or I should say the movement of that warrior and uh, sends his uh, settler to the west very curious where is he going to send it I would assume the um, uh, sheep tile that's a uh, 3-1 there but I guess uh, we're going to need to wait we got uh, some uh, horses improved already from uh, China's uh, settles. Uh, he does have it in the second ring. I do see his island is going to be third ring out on the east side. He can put a city on the um, right style to actually make it uh, much, much cheaper. Uh, we do need to see if, uh, if he's going to actually want to uh, photo settle his opponent over here or uh, just try to uh, get as many settles as possible before a, a war starts to break out between uh, Gorgo and uh, between, uh, sorry, uh, Seoul, that's uh, Sejong and uh, Kublai, China. Uh, Rome is going to get 
get his second city on the main start to the west side. He's going to have a few tutus to work there. It looks like also to the south, uh, we do have uh, Greece Gorgo figuring out what's going on in the city of London. Uh, there's going to be a forest fire blocking him from actually walking uh, towards that settler, even though I don't think he's actually going to get to catch up with a warrior for, to the settler anyway. We do have uh, Kublai China getting his uh, settler out. Looks like uh, next turn, four more seconds to go, and we're going to need to see. This is actually very important information if he's going to want to be on the offense from the beginning or he's going to want to actually back settle and get a powerful base going uh, so he can uh, actually sustain a long term war against his opponent uh, this game is going to be interesting yes yes for sure also one more coffee good evening sir and welcome so glad I made it to the start of the game Woo! yes uh, is this the best of uh, this is the best of five sir this is the best of five uh, let's actually put up the prediction over here for who will win because to be honest um, we don't have the same information that we had last time or uh, when I usually uh, do my uh, schedules my program so uh, we're gonna try to wing it as much as possible and at the same time I'm, I'm gonna try as um, much as I can to actually remember the little details that uh, uh, the screen just uh, doesn't stay on too much. Uh, we do have uh, Sejong actually moving his center to the southwest. It looks like um, yeah, that dry style might actually be his uh, incentive to settle there. I don't think he's actually going to get a coastal, but he could try to get a coastal to actually trade with uh, Scythia to see his west side. Now, uh, it, it's kind of early to actually set up coastal trade routes, but mm, you never can be too early with those uh, early settlers, especially if they're next to your camp. We do have um, also Age of Empire over here, getting his uh, fish improved. He's going to have a 4 to one tile to work. He's also moving another uh, etc. towards the north. He does need to actually put his um, warrior on that middle tile because otherwise he might actually lose it. Now we do have a scout from um, China to the north. Uh, that is uh, doing some mischief over there. Wait, uh, so okay, there is a there is a possibility for them both of them to fight over there. Uh, anyway, now we do need to see also Chandra Kupta with uh, settled to the southwest. He's actually going to have uh, the coast uh, over here on the west side uh, locked in for him. Uh, we do have uh, Holy Sites coming up from the city of Pana and Srinagar. And uh, by the looks of it, he did manage to get uh, another warrior. Very interesting that he actually needed to buy a warrior here. I'm uh, very surprised about this because I don't think he actually got it for free from a hut or something. There's another Tiki hut to the south uh, of uh, Pana. And of course, that warrior might actually go towards it. Uh, there's also a city state of military city state uh, on the coast to the south and that he can uh, actually take out with some boats a little bit later on if he does of course manage to get some boats out i'm a bit surprised that he actually chose to go on the coast especially since um, he probably saw or at least got an idea of where his opponent is gorgo uh, but i guess uh, that didn't stop him at all from getting that going uh, i do have to also point out he's kind of in the middle of um, uh, the map is going to be a long time until somebody gets uh, before actually somebody gets a unit there uh, we do have uh, Kublai China actually going directly against his opponent he's uh, settling right in his face and he's going to try to pull off another attack uh, against him we've seen him Miel before uh, do very well when it comes to uh, playing with Sejong so I would imagine the same kind of uh, quality gameplay uh, coming up tonight from him as well we do have uh, uh, Spartak in his city on the west side I think he's actually going to settle on an amenity over there one that gives him culture i'm thinking amber tile but anyway i guess we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there there we go he didn't settle argos and he's getting an extra culture point but i have no idea what it is um, Alpha is going to get the city of Bravo to the west side. He's going to put it right in the face of Chandra Gupta. He's also going to try to cut off as much as possible Chandra Gupta from actually settling a lot of cities. There is not so much fresh water that Chandra Gupta can just um, bathe in. He needs to be careful to the south and to the north. Uh, how many cities is he going to get? Uh, and of course, uh, to the east side here, he has a major problem because uh, Scythia is not going to be an easy opponent to uh, treat punches with. Uh, Chengdu did get settled right in the face of Seoul. We do have have um, a third uh, settler coming up from Seoul that needs to find a place and I'm thinking he might actually want to go uh, north again uh, well at least start going north he could go southeast don't get me wrong he could go next to the uh, cocoa tile which is going to give him that uh, very nice and juicy extra boost in gold and uh, you can improve those tiles uh, easy peasy now uh, he does oh my god look at that he's correctly predicting uh, the movement path of that settler uh, we did have uh, an attack coming up from uh, Firsos again against the oh my god the scout of uh, korea corny is left hanging with his uh, little sliver of uh, 
health over there on the scout but he does manage to move away and promote that scout for his courage against an opponent much better than him much bigger stronger oh my god this was yeah man this this is it why what is going on wait a second man man why are you putting farms now man that seems like a waste of production right there bro waste of builder charge man anyway um could you move the commercial over here a little bit up it's blocking the minimap uh, that's not mine so that's not my commercial i'm sorry that's actually we're watching legion's stream by the way so we're just retransmitting his uh image and he has like multiple overlays top left some overlays from discord we got uh, bottom right over there some advertisements his image is behind my image and so on um yeah uh, closest photo center in cwc history yeah i mean that's that's a very close city uh chengdu and so that's a that's his capital that is korea's capital that is so scary anyway we're gonna need to see how this evolves over here i'm pretty sure we will see uh the seons uh, starting to get, take shape over here and as you can see Seon, seul is trying to get some help uh to get um uh, these units from kublai away from his territory getting that third city is going to be important for him to have an extra base to work on uh, it looks Looks like he might actually prefer to get the 2-2 going uh, underneath his base so he can uh, have that extra boost in production. Not bad. We do have a builder coming up from Seoul and I gotta say that might not be enough to actually save uh, the Seons. Uh, those uh, from those units of uh, china and we do have uh, chengdu and uh, the capital city of uh, china going for um, uh, the monuments we're going to need to see how uh, things evolve how the situation evolves in other parts of the map soon because uh, i'm pretty sure that we will see some sparks flying between task for fish and uh, chandra gupta played by hazagi we do have uh, rome also trading punches with uh, gorgo over there and uh, well so many things so many things uh, actually gorgo or Scythia? no gorgo right yeah gorgo so this is rome and to the southeast looks like uh, gorgo over there is trying to block one of his um, opponent settles uh, on that honey tile that would have been uh, ideal but it looks like uh, he's not gonna have any of it now we do have also uh, two cities uh, england he did manage to actually pick up uh, god of the sea you can see the 2311 uh, pearl tile over there improved in the city of london benefiting from that extra point of production from um, <laughs> Uh, the sailing boats and at the same time uh, from uh, god of the sea is amazing uh, we do have gorgo also getting his uh, monuments out for that extra culture moving to the south here with the third settle uh, he might actually want to uh, oh wait he actually gave up he gave up that city he gave it up boys he gave it up okay that's uh that's unfortunate uh i do have to point out not a lot of tiles next to argos he does need to spend the gold to actually get more tiles and more two tools to work otherwise it's not gonna be good what um, okay don't get me wrong there it is gonna be good and not gonna be fast that's what i wanted to say you need to go at a certain speed Okay, it looks like a warrior has been taken care of. We do have uh, the Seons uh, starting to take shape here in Seoul and uh, Chonchon. It looks like uh, also um, uh, that culture needs to be uh, revving up on uh, Corny. We do need to see and uh, we have seen how uh, China can actually keep up with the best of them. We're going to need to see if this is going to be one of those days. And it looks like the city of Kume did get settled down and not a lot of production is available in the inner city as uh, much as I see over here. He's going to need to actually buy out the second tiles and uh, looking at the score screen here, they do actually benefit um, from a decent amount of gold on Asti because he might actually want to spend that 30 gold to get an extra tile in what, what is happening here oh oh i see he's thinking about it so as he goes he's thinking about what he wants to do buy that one buy that one he's gonna get the food going okay he's gonna want to grow that city to a higher population slot um or i should say a uh, number we're gonna need to see what is he gonna do with the upcoming the situation now we do have him uh, trying to scout out the lands of uh, gorgo as you can see over here gorgo is defending himself with a few slingers and uh, we might actually see also rome pull off an early attack against gorgo which usually doesn't actually go his way because we do have uh, hope lights available for uh gorgo to build from a relatively early stage he just needs bronze working and he's probably gonna want bronze working anyway um especially in this situation to get the uh, general now one of the things that uh 
the Rome is good at is actually applying that uh, get a uh, whole lot of this uh, the horseman attack against his opponent because uh, he can actually uh, use um, get some builders out faster than others and of course use those for the chops and send those horses to the merry way against his opponents now the problem with that uh, strategy today is well uh, we uh, do have Gorgo on the other side so hope lines just uh, pokey pokey they're gonna get their spears out and they're gonna sit in a line and no horse will pass actually a lot of them will die if they do try now we do have um, Rom Rom also getting his uh, third city to the north towards the city of uh, Kumasi. It looks like uh, he's uh, going to put it over there. Uh, right in range. Is it in range? One, two, three tiles. I think it is in range of uh, Zangi Dangtze. It's just going to be extremely expensive to actually get that third ring tile out. And uh, it's not like they're making that much uh, amount of gold at the moment. I do have to point out we do have um, a close, pro uh, close number between the production of uh, all of the civilizations in the game. Like between 16 and 21. 24 actually being the biggest on uh, corny corny also did jump up to 10 science and four culture he still has those three cities uh, one of them did actually get to photo center his opponent while he's for oh my god his opponent is photo settling him again we do have oh my god no respect no respect from fitsos he's like uh, you know what bro you're next to me i think that land belongs to me i saw it first so i'm gonna just gonna take it okay no problems right there i don't want any problems yes i take this land you go your own way i i get this is going yes bam joe dong got set up and oh my is he gonna put an encampment right in his face is this gonna pop an encampment right in the soul's face over it <laughs> oh my god oh my oh my uh, this is starting to get into something man this is another wave this is another level of gameplay over here oh my god man we do have uh, quite a few oh postable settler snatch <laughs> are we gonna see yeah he got it he snatched that the task for fish jumps from his chair and uh, takes a hold of the chandra gupta settler he snatched that over there oh man oh man is he gonna get it back also oh my god look at it look at that he's on the other side guys he's on the other side of the uh chandra guptan empire over here on the west side and again ulysses somehow loses a settler very early on against coc very good scouting very good moves coming up from coc man they mean business Again, yeah, again, man. Azagi about to lose the Cetron indeed. And it's going to settle in the CWC final. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, how many times have you heard me say on the stream over here, you should escort your settlers? Please, Silvo, play, Monsieur. You know, escort the settler. <laughs> anyway, the mental pressure is real. Yes, exactly. Always escort your settler, man. You gotta do that. Anyway, we've got some uh, punches being traded over here, some arrows flying from the cities of uh, China to the cities of uh, Korea. Uh, we do. I uh, need to see him now this is uh, gonna go over there uh, it looks like Seoul is gonna get the builder out I do see him uh, needing to actually get a Pantheon as well Kublai Khan in China did manage to get a Pantheon I have no idea what it is oh no I know what it is that's actually uh, irrigation rights uh, we, yeah um, irrigation fertility rights sorry not irrigation fertility rights so we do have uh, Chengdu over there with some uh, wheat tiles improved and I'm pretty sure that's what he chose uh, it looks like also fish is gonna try to get that settler back to his uh, territory there are still some units from um, city are blocking the pathway uh, for those uh, warriors to see exactly where that settler is going he's uh, not gonna know if he actually still has the settler or not he just doesn't have the vision and uh, he does need to have the um, hindsight of actually going uh, to the north of the city of Pana to see that settler get back home it's gonna take a long time for it to actually that's a long-term project right there um now so let's say uh, hello there sir uh, the game is already a thriller yes can china build uh, loyalty what hold loyalty oh china hold loyalty yeah yeah I'm yeah at this point in the game we don't have that much of a problem with uh, loyalty later on we, when we will see uh, high pop cities and so on we'll have a problem it looks like rome also did pick up a pantheon over here he did start off i think with campuses or is that no i do see an encampment i don't see what's uh, next to rome is that a government plaza i think that's a government plaza 
Anyway, uh, we do have when he came being put down from Mediolanum uh, in the south. Uh, Greece at the moment is going for his iron working, so he did already discover bronze working. Uh, he knows about his resources, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to get the uh, encampment of his own. He's against two opponents on this tiny island, and he needs to survive and thrive over here against uh, both of his opponents. Uh, we um, do have a fourth setter coming up from Rome. Looks like uh, in the south, uh, England is going for his merry way. I did see actually if there's an encampment on Gorgo would be valuable information to see if there's gonna be a race for those uh, generals we are a uh, 23 out of uh, 31 to switch the era and we're going to see how the players are um, uh, gonna try to get their uh, score going usually in this uh, 4v4 setup that we have going over here it's relatively easy to get the first uh, golden age because you get a lot of points from your allies scouting the vision over your allies over your opponents and so on it makes a lot it makes it very valuable um, but uh, at the same time uh, you might lose quite a few points in the mid to um, uh, like in the second and uh, third era because you discovered so much in the first one uh, we do have uh, what is this i still don't know the pantheon uh, we do have the settler of uh, oh my god look at look at the chandra gupta settler still going to the north wait chandra gupta only has two cities oh my god two cities he saw it he saw it india saw it he saw the settler now i we need to see the reaction he saw the settler he's now aware that cynthia is gonna try to get it out home we got a first uh, horse on the map as well in three tens it's gonna come out of the um, uh, chinese uh, empire looks like also multiple archers are gonna come off from the chinese empire i gotta say this land is gonna be hard to defend on the city of seoul uh, and probably one of the reasons that China didn't want to get these cities to get the positioning over there so he doesn't allow his opponent to actually defend somewhere uh, somehow else we do have encampments coming up from Sparta I did see one uh, finishing up in 110 and it looks like at the moment um, there's just not enough health on these units uh, from India to actually get going to the north and oh my god man oh my god this is guys this is Hazagi being bullied He's being bullied. His head is being pulled over there. His pants are taken down. He's, oh my God, this is a disaster for him. He's going to need to somehow get back in the game over here. He did pick uh, God of Trustmans as a Pantheon. He does have the extra production and the faith coming up from his uh, improved um, strategic resources. Uh, he needs to flex that against his opponent. Get more settlers out because this is turning into a disaster for him. With Scythia being next door to him and of course with Scythia's ability to get a very strong unit uh, relatively quickly in the game you can imagine Shandra Gupta is very far away from matching that uh, power over there and uh, we do need to see how much how much uh, Scythia does want to uh, invest into that warfare we got some uh, early moves coming against Argos you can see also the first um, uh, hope lights are being put into production from the city center of Gorgo he's uh, getting his encampment next turn and he's gonna need to start doing his projects did improve his horses in the south of Sparta and he does have access to an iron tile next to Argos he just needs to get a builder there so he can improve him improve it uh, Mediolanum here it might not have been the best choice of actually uh, going for an encampment it is uh, being built in seven turns that is a very long time and usually when you do build from uh, other cities than your capital unless there's something incredible happening in the city um and we've seen it multiple times something like that happening with uh, forest fires with volcanoes and so on uh, at the Menangi city and so on uh, usually the capital city is also the most productive one in your uh, empire um so well it's actually gonna get magnus established uh, next turn and by the looks of it corny is gonna get also mining next turn uh, i am not convinced as in i do not know if he actually went for horseback riding yes he does have horseback riding i do see a horse uh, being built in Jonju. Uh, and uh, looking at their available options over here corny must have have uh, had put in i should say uh maneuver card for the less production towards horses for towards scanned units yeah he does okay there we go he does have the maneuver card with uh, the plus one production makes sense he doesn't want as much production as possible he also has two builders ready to go i don't know if the one in the south can actually pull this off that's not a forest that's a rainforest actually and i think he just realized that he cannot chop that without the bronze working discovered so he's actually gonna switch uh, his uh, builder somewhere else to either build a mine or improve that um, a banana tile with uh, a plantation or something 
Now we do have uh, the first horses coming out of the series of uh, China next and with uh, two of them in the build queues from Chengdu and um, uh, Perin. Uh, we're going to have them uh, showing up on his opponent's borders uh, relatively quickly. He didn't actually put down uh, in Kiama, neither did... Um, uh, Seoul, or I should say uh, Korea, uh, and uh, of course neither of them are actually going for the uh, next series. Oh, look at that! Actually, the Scythian settler is keeps on going, man. He keeps on going. We got these uh, two, uh, uh, well, exploding uh, volcanoes over here next to the Gorgo capital. Uh, looks like he didn't want to uh, get the technical rematch for those, uh, taking out his uh, population. I'm not sure if he actually lost the population before ten, uh, before the um, ten count, uh, ten eight or uh, whatever. But anyway, now we do have uh, three cities coming up for uh, Age of uh, Empire. Looks like he's getting his fourth city out soon, putting down his Royal Navy Dockyards. He has access to a uh, horse tile already improved, and Iron is going to be his uh, fourth ring out to the south. That's quite expensive for him to actually get unfortunately oh he has a third ring out the one as well to the southwest that's fine still very expensive but at least you can work it a uh, nice position for some uh, also campuses over there we're going to need to see how he's going to try to uh, get to use his government plaza uh, to get that going against his opponent get the stats going uh, it's three cities and harbors coming up from uh, england age of uh, steam as well i do see him also getting him uh, getting himself some builders uh, i do see one two three two harbors did get uh, put down uh, by the looks of it he's uh, staying away from the east side and uh, doesn't actually want to go that far into the north he's uh, not going to have that much uh, benefit from fresh water unless he actually settles a river right between him and uh, Gorgo which is going to be very dangerous for him to open up that front line you don't really want to make use of uh, or I should say incentivize your opponent to actually uh, go against you with uh, settling a city right in the face of him uh, we do uh, need to also put the team labels uh, team labels on the map on the screen yeah 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 everybody on the stream say yeah everybody on the stream say yo uh, coc on the left side and we do have ulysses on the right side let me actually uh, write that down over here and we're gonna get going there we go there we go we got it going there we go a city under two volcanoes it is some meme yes indeed yeah it, it is it looks like it is hey i think they yo let's go uh so it looks like the first uh hoplite of uh, greece did come out under fire over there from those um uh, opposing archers we do have uh, rome actually getting uh, more warriors in the city of uh, kume he didn't start up uh, getting horses at the moment i find it uh, actually doubtful they can actually get enough uh, horses for both uh, for both attacks i do see hazaki over here is going to get some uh, vanus to defend himself but he's still on two cities and it looks like uh, Scythia is going to have a free one uh get it got out from shanda gupta's uh, grasp and we do need to see how um, also Scythia is going to get his general looks like he did finish an encampment and he's three turns away from actually making an encampment training project uh, so he can flex those military muscles against his opponent uh, we do have uh, also also let's actually see india in oh my god india is uh, four turns out if he keeps going with that card he's four turns out so alpha over here needs to uh, keep a uh, move on get your uh, groove on boy oh that's a problem actually where is uh, where is gorgo at did he get a I don't see a general in his land. I do see he's putting a second in camel and his uh, hope light is very, very damaged. <laughs> Some damaged goods right there, sir. You gotta be careful. Anyway, we do see a second hope light coming up next time from Argos. And I do have to point out he did manage to put both of them behind his city. He's gonna need to repair that. He's gonna try to uh, use his archer to um, fend off those attacking archers which are just standing in the forest over there to benefit from uh, extra vision and at the same time try to benefit as much as possible from some extra defense uh, from the land and we got the first uh, government plaza coming up from Argos uh, interesting position over there I can't say it's gonna be filled with uh, joy uh, three times for also a general coming up from Eniolanum we do need to see who's actually gonna try to get the chops going with India having uh, the most points over here he's also the closest one and he does it uh, well, it, it doesn't look like he might actually get it. He might get it. He might get it. Actually, he might be closer than this. How many? So he has a shrine in the, uh, how to say, in the holy site. And he has two holy sites with shrines. Oh, okay. I'm just new to uh, multiplayer Civ 6 and uh, this stuff is truly shocking. Well, welcome. Let us uh, shock you a little bit. Woohoo! <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Hazagi, I picked Crusade. Wait, uh, Hazagi actually picked Crusade? Did, where did you see that? Did he actually pick Crusade? I didn't actually see that message. I didn't receive the memo. Please resend the memo. Oh my god, man. It is one of this. Um India just accepted that he'll stay on two series. I hope I mean I, I'm pretty sure not. I'm pretty sure not. Nazin, I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to um, uh, attack into his opponent, get out of his position, try to sim back to uh, reality here. Uh, I'm actually a bit surprised we don't see Saka Horse Archers uh, coming yet from uh, Tans for Fish. Of course, he didn't want to get the bronze working um, going and uh, not go for his horse by raiding immediately. That actually put him a little bit uh, off uh, tempo uh, than usual. But I, I'm pretty sure he's going to come back. We are 1029, two more turns until we're going to split the era into uh, the classical one. We do have uh, Corny with 14 signs and 7 culture in the culture screen. It looks like uh, Gorgo has the top tap with 15 culture at 10 and 8 signs. Uh, he's also going get pressured over here by his opponent which is already gonna have five cities and it does look like he's working on a journal of his own uh, getting his government plots are finished over there in the city of uh, rome there is a two versus one situation for gorgo that he needs to or i should say one versus two situation for gorgo that he needs to actually fight out of nasticos did jump up to also his uh, 10 science and 14 culture it doesn't look like at the moment he actually put any commercials or campuses from his cities. He's fully focused on getting the war going against the Gorgo from an earlier stage of the game. Uh, uh, or I should say the earlier stage of the game he can. And we do have in the... Um, Oh, general screen actually. City, I did manage to get the first project rolling. Now we're going to need to see him again another one going. Or it was that uh, how many points he has? Or is he... Did he finish? Did he chop that? I have no idea. Well, I would love to see that, but I have no idea. Let's see. Okay, there was some uh, skirmish going around between uh, China and uh, Korea. Looks like Korea did uh, lose a little bit of health. China lost a little bit of health. And we do have uh, some trades going on. Some shots, uh, late moves, shots over here coming up from China uh, to try to get an advantage for himself. Uh, attacking into a horse of his opponent. Looks like, um, well, that archer paid uh, with his life. Uh, we do have uh, another attack going on here. It looks like one of the um, uh, Chinese uh, war, uh, horses were, uh, was left alone on the bananas of his opponent. And uh, we do have new units coming up from uh, Chengdu soon. Uh, it does seem like Korea was on point when uh, he needed to get an army out. And he's actually going um, uh, to close the gap, close the... Um, oh, opposition ways pathways uh, to actually get to his cities uh he's uh, also building an encampment which is kind of late in the game but to be honest he actually needs a general for his uh, medieval renaissance bonuses so he gets uh, his uh how um also working with that general uh we're, uh, we're gonna need to see how fast he can actually acquire the science compared to uh, firsus's ability to acquire those science points uh, firsus at the moment is on nine science with 10 culture while according is on 14 and 7 already he didn't actually get the hypatia yet, nor did he he actually built his third seon i don't see um i do see actually a single mine upgraded next to one of his seons so there's a lot of um um uh, advantages still that need to come potential that's what i want there's a lot of potential the potential growth of the empire of sejong anyway uh and the health of his opponents will be in shambles oh Okay, okay. So what are you guys predicting over here? What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? It's chat, what are your thoughts? What is going on in this game? Let me actually uh, take a quick peek over here. Who do you think will win? Oh my god. Actually, wait a second. It's COC with 66%. Ulysse with 34%. Oh my god, man. Okay, so uh, John Drew is going to get that uh, seven to the southeast. Inter interesting placement uh, being put next to the mountains like this. And we do have uh, the first encampment coming up in the Seoul. And uh, next turn, and it looks like, yes, Zhao Dong did get the encampment pre-placed right in the face of Seoul. Uh, we're probably going to need to see as much as possible Seoul try to deny that encampment from being finished because otherwise uh, he can just show up over there with a the catapult and lob those shots towards the city center so he can uh, do the damage. We do have a Newcastle 
Fontaine also putting his uh, government plaza down. Now we do need to see uh, how fast uh, Ken Miel actually acquired the science points and get to Carnival Technology so he can actually go against Age of Empire uh, Rom Rom. At the moment, Rom Rom is ahead when it comes to science and uh, culture acquired per turn. And uh, we do have him uh, making 15 gold at 10 while Miel at the moment is on 17. A little bit more, which is not bad. Now we do have uh, Hadvagi actually losing gold at the moment with his uh, Varus coming out of his cities and he's probably not working the minus one card. Uh, he did put a lot of strain on his economy and he does need those extra cities so he can catch up. Also, I do have to mention whenever you're going to play with in, um, with a monumentality civilization, you're going to invest a lot of gold per turn when it comes to those holy sites, the shrines, the temples and everything that you need for the infrastructure in faith. Uh, Seoul is pronounced kind of a soul. Oh, I see. That my hello there, sir. Good evening. Uh, Chandra got a general. Wait, he didn't actually get a general. He did. He did. He did. Wait, where is that uh, settler? Did the settler die? What the? Where is the general? Oh my god. Uh, no. How did he? Anyway, I guess the scout died or something. I have no idea where the uh, settler is. I'm pretty sure that. I would say uh, Archer shouldn't have uh, been that aggressive. Anyway, so no extra city for Scythia. It is what it is. He's going to need to play with his own books over there. We do have uh, Argos... Um about to face a major invasion we do have uh, three of those warriors that are waiting for the promotions in the into legions a general for rome a general for sparta you know, both of them will benefit from those points but i gotta mention the whole place do not do not uh, take advantage of the general and uh, that's a bit of a problem he's going to require his own horse units with his own uh, um, iron swordsman if he actually wants to uh, put up a fight over there with his general bonus uh, now, by the looks of it, we do have uh, Victor established in the city of uh, Seoul. Uh, we do have uh, John Drew finishing up that uh, so on uh, in one turn. And I do see Chan Chun is going to make use of, uh, of uh, Magnus. So it is a bit surprising that he didn't actually want to go for uh, Moksha or Pingala this, uh, either. Either um, he's gonna, He wa didn't want to secure his uh, base, his uh, capital city. And it looks like at the moment he's actually attacking Ayutthaya to the southeast, uh, securing a little bit more land and another city center for himself, uh, trying to get the uh, ahead of Firsos in uh, whatever ways uh, the land gives him. Uh, there are actually multiple possible cities for him to defend uh, or over here in the place and we're going to need to see how china is also going to try to uh, get this going we do have the first legions being upgraded in the city of kume and to see motion established over there in three turns and i do see new horses are coming around from his cities trying to get also wallace thrown in the Camphron plaza of the city of rome uh, so he pays less uh, per turn for for his uh, units uh, and at the same time uh, gets more production towards new units there's a plus five uh, campus uh, next to arpinum on the west side with two geothermals giving it uh, plus two uh, each and uh, two of those rainforest fires uh, together bringing him another point we do have uh, Portsmouth uh, coming up with um, a campus over there and this is actually going to be quite uh, problematic it looks like the two Englands did meet each other on the seas and now they are aware they will get to fight each other we're going to need to see how much uh, they're going to prioritize to get to that uh, caravel timing while uh, Rome Rome at the moment is going for irrigation in one turn we do have uh, Miuel actually going for a bronze working that's an uh, interesting uh, choice over there for them for him he needs to he needs to it is what it is well, we do have a pushback over here of the units of uh, China. Uh, there are enough units to actually counter any kind of uh, attack coming out from Korea. On either side, actually, I would say even if uh, China is attacking to sell, there definitely are de uh, de enough defenders. And we do have a capital plaza coming out from Chanchon. I'm a bit surprised we don't see a fourth and a fifth settler, but it looks like he did chop down that uh, government plaza immediately with minus bonuses. And now he's going to use um, uh, the government plaza to get an audience chamber, allowing his uh, cities to benefit from uh, extra governor bonuses of uh, amenities of housing and of um, food in those cities that they actually got settled in uh, there is also a possibility you've seen the possibilities created over there between Scythia and Korea to get the economy connected they will need to get a lot of commercials out and uh, try to of course build as many trade routes as possible I didn't see anyone at the moment actually going for commercials in this game this is one of those games that uh, it looks like we're gonna see them uh, fight it out let me actually uh, take a quick peek over here on uh, discord i what i okay there we go that's what i wanted to do 
Okay, there we go. Uh, you can't bet on Liege. Well, senor, the star bomb, dear senor. Uh, it is what it is. A fish deleted the center because his scout was dying. Yeah, I, I would assume that that's what happened over there. Nobody got it back, so I would assume he deleted it. Deleted it. Deleted it. it. Um, guys, did you see, by the way, on my Discord, tomorrow we got the next uh, iteration of the Hidden Cup. Full day content. Oh my god, top what 14 players, top 16 players are going in tomorrow, and only eight of them are gonna go into the finals tomorrow, and then one of them is gonna get that title of the Hidden Cup winner. Um, the final is in a best of five, say. Uh, also, hello there, sir. Uh, we'll see Pauline to co cast. Oh, that's a very good question. I didn't have time to ask her. Oh my god, I actually need to ask her. Yeah, needed to remember, man. Needed to remember. Oh, city states. We do have. Uh... Oh my god, I was uh, about to call it out. Oh, never mind. It is what it is. Anyway, we did go into the next era, and now we can actually see who did pick what. Um, I do see uh, Gorgo with uh, Cynthia and with Miel did pick up a Penbrush and Voice Golden Age. Yeah, they, we do have a uh, Corny actually going for a Penbrush and Voice as well, but he does have his science coming out from his Seons. Uh, we do have uh, also uh, Legions uh, marching in the city of Argos, and uh, you do see they do so much damage against their opponents over here. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. They are they are already attacking the city of Argos, and it doesn't look like there are enough far just to actually counter this maneuver it doesn't like also Ben doesn't actually benefit from uh, any kind of uh, classical unit which is gonna be very problematic of him okay I, I'm sorry I'm, I need to turn off the sound because this is uh, problematic it's a desync can we watch this instead I don't know let's actually see if it actually is better now we do have uh, horses coming up in three turns from argos there is a builder in the city to the south oh he, never mind he didn't manage to get the swordsman uh, chopped off uh, in the city of argos so he does have the 30 defense strength now with the extra 10 uh, of the swordsman he's uh, gonna try to get another uh, horseman soon and we do have the underscore stone wolf has joined stone the round table join us Thank you, sir, for the follow. Much appreciated. Wait, it's a black screen. Okay, double man. Uh, good. So good of you for telling me, by the way. Wait, where's the. This one. This one. This. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. He moved the screen and it's bad. It's just bad. Very bad. Okay, we're coming back to the other one. This one? No? Oh, yeah, this one, this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, there is an attack actually coming from uh, Hazagi with uh, two of these battles going against the units of uh, Sitia. We do have uh, Sitia getting his own uh, units out. Uh, and I do see a horse uh, coming up from the city of Bravo next turn with another one coming up from Alpha. He does have a general for his units and he does have uh, a few archers uh, to defend himself. Uh, looks like uh, these battles are just not enough uh, for um, the offense against uh, his opponent. I do have to say another setter is coming between Pana and Bravo. He's going to go into a non-freshwater setter and it kind of looks like Kanzaki does want to derail himself into his opponent to get back at his opponent for taking a setter away from him. Now we do have uh, the horses of uh, Cynthia coming out and we're going to see if uh, they're actually going to want to go on the offense against anybody here. Of course, uh, Varus are at the moment the preferred choice of the archers to shoot at and uh, we do have three horses that can actually attack into them. Now we do have a fifth set, a fourth set actually coming up from Shanda Gupta while... Um, uh, I do see Cynthia getting his uh, fourth as well to the east side here. It would have been nice to benefit from that from the north, but it looks like it got denied. Uh, we uh, do have actually uh, a decent amount of forces available for both teams at the moment. Actually, a lot more on Ulysses, if I uh, must say so. Uh, I do see a fifth setter also being trained in the city of Panna for Shadrach to come back. There's also a first religion with crusade and choral music being chosen by India to go against the city over here. One of the uh, you, one of the um, 
possibilities of actually denying Crusade is uh, you keeping your opponents from your borders, even if your city does convert, uh, they're not uh, going to benefit from the extra plus five uh, trying to get in your borders if you have units uh, on every tile. It doesn't look like uh, Panna is uh, sending that city next to Bravo, is actually going to convert the city of uh, Bravo and of Alpha much, much faster, especially with Moksha being deployed in that city center. Uh, we do have uh, actually um, an attack going on, looks like one of the... Um, Oh, he pushed back the general. He actually pushed back the general. No more plus five for the Indian troops. We do have uh, India defending his uh, settler. And it looks like uh, he's uh, still going to get to uh, plant it down. We're going to need to see a counterattack uh, coming in. Hazaki's uh, general is back in the city of Panna. And uh, we do have actually multiple uh, units, multiple uh, horses that are just waiting to jump on that uh, one single uh, outlier. <laughs> one. Uh, Varo that just didn't want to stay in the same herd. Uh, we do have actually Courtney also jumping up to 36 science with 26 uh, culture. A quick shift move coming up from um, Chandra Gupta. It doesn't look like uh, he actually is going to expose one of his horses, which is just going to die. Okay, yeah, there we go. It died. Uh, general, uh, oh, I see. He put, he pushed back the general. Okay, I mean, still not. Uh, not the best thing that can happen. Uh, we do have uh, Shenai coming up with another follower in eight turns. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to chop another one down. Uh, looking at the stats of Hazagi over here with seven science and 16 culture, it does seem like he actually chose a Mormatality Golden Age and uh, we're going to need to make him uh, see him make use of that uh, faith. Uh, to be honest, he does have a little bit more. Uh, does he have Moksha? Moksha would actually um, answer why he has uh, 16 culture a turn. Anyway, we do have uh, Astikos uh, with uh, 27 culture. It looks like, oh... Ben, Benny, Benny, my boy, what are you doing, man? What happened to your city? Why is it burning, bro? Oh my God, what did you do again, man? Uh, you, he enraged Astikos over here, and it doesn't seem like Astikos is gonna want to flinch. Uh, coming up with um, definitely stronger units than Ben could handle. It looks like the city of Argos is in shambles. We do have it very low HP with like less than 10 HP. The wall is gonna go up next turn, and it looks like it looks like it's gonna survive a little a little longer. Not that much longer, but a little longer. He definitely needed more units here. And I would say uh, at the moment, it looks like Greece is... Uh, Greece is falling. Greece is falling. I mean, I don't know, man. That's kind of how it looks like. Definitely needed more classical units to uh, put up a fight over here against Rome. And that's one of the amazing things of Rome. You just get so much tempo at the beginning and in the early wars that uh, a lot of uh, the times your opponents will have problems defending against you. Well, we do have the walls coming up in Argos. You do see immediately the, um, the archers are taking uh, shots against that wall. Only one can actually shoot against that wall, unfortunately. And as you can see, it's being shot back uh, immediately. So he moves it out of place. So he actually keeps on uh, healing back the city center of Argos. Argos. We do have another horse coming up uh, from the city center. Next turn, multiple di multiple uh, legions are coming up from the cities of uh, Rome. I do see three of them did get built with a fourth one actually uh, able to chop over there to the east of the city of Cume. He does have another one, another builder in the city of Arpinum that he could use to chop another legion and so on. There are so many units over here that um, Rome will get to benefit against uh, his opponent. It does look, uh, of course, it's not ideal at all to actually defend with uh, hope lights against uh, your opponent over here and unfortunately Ben uh, did uh, put all of his eggs in one basket on the hope light basket uh, he did uh, not have time to actually get horses out or uh, try to get uh, multiple uh, swordsmen or even warriors to upgrade into swordsmen uh, quite a bit of a pickle over here for him uh, if he does lose his uh, second city this is going to be catastrophic he did actually build his government plaza from that city center which is going to put him back a lot and uh, he's not going to get to pressure his opponent that much in the southwest uh, England uh, that's going to be very important because Muel is going to need to fight England uh, mano a mano one versus uh, one over there on the seas and uh, it can go all the way all the way to a victory screen. That's going to be quite a problem. Uh, also, uh, uh, you can see now. Okay, got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the feedback, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we do have uh, the fish uh, starting to push uh, back against the city of uh, Chennai. Uh, in Chennai, actually. And we do have a few um, horses that can actually attack that um, wounded archer to the north. Uh, we do have uh, the archer, actually. Okay, okay. A three movement. Okay, yeah, not bad, not bad. India doing God's work over here. 
Okay, City of Shenai. Oh, I think that bar was gonna die. Just thinking out loud over here. It doesn't like those two shots from uh, horses and that bar was dead. There's another bar next to it. We're gonna need to see if uh, how uh, aggressive City is gonna become here. Of course, uh, still didn't actually get his uh, Saka Horse Archers on the map. Uh, he's probably a little worried that uh, they don't have that much damage. But the fact that they are so mobile on the map does make them extremely deadly. Uh, we will need to see um, which uh, kind of unit uh, City is gonna try to um, flex against Chandra Gupta. The fact that Chandra Gupta did place uh, that City right in uh, City's face, it does, um, of course. Uh, tell Sithia that he needs to be careful about his western side and at the same time uh, get a good army out we don't have that many units available for uh, Gorgot to use on the defense of Argos he's trying to pump them out as, as soon as possible from his cities uh, but it doesn't look like there's uh, enough of them coming out of his cities he does have an amazing capital with uh, two volcanoes spewing lava left right and center getting a lot of food and production from those tiles to make good use of and bam we do have the attack of Sithia on um the units of India, another Varu went down and uh, these uh, these Varus are going to be hard to replace. Uh, they're very expensive when it comes to production and it, they do take quite a bit of time to get onto the front line as well. He just doesn't have a lot of time on that city center. Uh, so many units coming up from Scythia to go on the front line. I would actually love to see how much faith uh, Task for Fish is making every time. Um, so, uh, of course, we make an idea if he actually is uh, going to get the ability to buy those units out with faith or not. Can't have units, man. Scythia gets them back you know like that it's so easy man it's so easy uh, City of Argos looks like uh, he lost his uh, extra um, uh, strength because one of the um, units get, got out. There is a horse uh, coming in next turn in that city center, so it's going to be fine. Uh, we do uh, have actually a stalemate coming up from between um, uh, Korea and the Kublai. Both of them are trying to get new cities out, and it doesn't look like um, Kublai is going to settle right in the face of uh, England as well, which is again going to cause quite a few uh, issues. Uh, England just, uh, well won't have the necessary production to defend himself on land it looks like uh age of uh, steam is uh, passing the next uh, admiral and we're gonna we do have uh, sejong actually picking up hypatia very nice for him getting that the uh, one extra science point for each of his libraries on point that's gonna be a good one that's gonna be a good one okay i do see also four production centers on the coast uh, to the south from uh, england age of steam so he can uh, start producing and getting those pre-builds to fight against the uh, england age of empire uh we're probably gonna see an advantage over here from uh oh no no i i do see england has four of them as well okay two four of them as well that's fine that's fine actually and yeah okay okay that's good quality on both sides i would say okay no no problems no problems uh, a little bit more production on um, england age of uh, steam over here because he does have uh, the extra bonus production on his um, uh, coastal resources. We do have a uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth settlers coming up from uh, Rome. He already he has already uh, five out, and by the looks of it, he's uh, gonna wait a while. He didn't actually invest uh, any more in his army, even though we do have uh, two more legions moving to the south over here. It doesn't like it. they're gonna take their time to actually get to the city of Argos. I'm actually quite curious if he does manage to break that defense down with uh, the remaining two um, that he has on top over there. Wow, only merchant taker is Aos without any commercial. That Wanda. <laughs> hum. The Wanda is amazing. Thank you so much for the Honda Billies. Much appreciated than your dingo. Thank you, sir. And yes, uh, that... Uh... That is amazing over there. The Zangi Danxia, especially when nobody's actually going commercials, getting the merchant is amazing. Uh, did he actually get an extra tra free trader? Oh my god, that is so valuable. Uh, anyway, it looks like uh, City over here will need to uh, do something to actually um, uh, thin the herd over here of his opponent. Uh, you can see he's actually um, promoting some of his uh, horses behind, uh, trying to uh, get as many shots done as possible with his archers against his opponent army. We do also see um, there's uh, more and more happening between uh, Greece and uh, Rome. And yeah, there we go. Two more units got taken down of uh, india we do have him getting his new varus in the varus are definitely gonna be a bit uh, too strong a bit too strong uh, for those horses to attack into chennai chennai i mean chennai I mean, Chennai, 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 yeah, anyway, it is what it is, uh, Bravo converted to India's religion, yeah, but look at that, actually, who would have thought that will trigger fish to attack into him, not the other way around, you know, uh, in, in this game, you make plans, but you need to be prepared to cha change them, 
We do have uh, three commercials being put down from Korea. He already has 45 signs with 38 culture next to Firsos 16 and 19. I do see Firsos did choose to go for uh, Moshe in his uh, second city while his capital is benefiting from Pingala. Um, maybe, or I guess, uh, Pingala internals for him or something. You know, we do still have him uh, needing to get a lot more science and a lot more culture on the board so he can uh, stand up to Corny. If Corny does manage to get, uh, for example, courses over here against his opponent Firsos in a much better uh, time, uh, well, his opponent will probably uh, succumb to the extra power of those courses. We're also going to need to see the Hawachas uh, fend off those crouching tigers of China if they're going to get there. Now we do need to see also how much economy they're actually gonna need. Uh, they're gonna get uh, throughout the game. We do have uh, the two Englands that are uh, getting a lot of economy going because of the Royal Navy Dockets, but we don't have that many of them uh, with. Or I actually say we don't have them with the ability to uh, trade coastally with their allies, which is gonna be uh, causing a bit of a uh, gold uh, problem. And we're uh, gonna need to see when uh, we're gonna have the ability to watch that yield stab over there. Uh, what's going on? Okay, okay, so it looks like uh, China is not pushing into uh, England anymore. He's uh, going against Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya, I gotta say, did get taken out uh, by uh, Korea over here. Got his uh, extra city going. And we do have uh, Chan Chan actually with the walls up. Argos with the walls up and uh, still is getting hit by his opponents. Uh, but it looks like he did stabilize uh, for quite some time over here. This uh, war between him and Rome. Uh, looking at the score tab here, I do have to point out Asticos is on 24 signs and 24 29 culture while um, Ben is only 16 and 31. Not that far apart from each other, but that extra science on uh, Asticos might make the difference in the long term. Uh, we do have uh, walls coming up from Zhao Dong, uh, not gonna hold against the Hawatch, as I gotta say. Uh, and it's uh, such a close proximity to his opponent that, well, that's gonna be uh, causing a ruckus. I do also want to point out the walls going up in Zhao Dong. If he does manage to get the encampment chopped over there, it will finish with walls intact, so he can actually use the walls to protect himself. Uh, uh, when attacking his opponent uh, capital that is big now i felt a disturbance in the linguistic force Makia, very good evening sir oh my god he's here we know now we know how to talk uh was in china city will be very mean uh the you mean the great wall of china i mean he can get a lot of them a lot of those man yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this uh, develops. A lot of uh, campuses also coming around from uh, Age of uh, Empire. Muel is on 25 cents with 40 culture, while uh, Rom Rom is on 22 and 30. It does look like uh, they're keeping quite close to each other when it comes to the science output. We're going to need to see uh, uh, who's going to get there and who, uh, who is going to benefit from the most gold to upgrade his units. They do need to secure getting to mercenaries at the same time, so they don't actually spend 180 points of gold on one of those caravels. That's quite bad. Pepperé, Pepperé. Uh, like you say, Jane Dong. Yeah. Hi, pantalons. Good evening, sir. Okay. So nothing much is happening between China and his opponents right now. With uh, both of his opponents actually being uh, higher than him when it comes to science and the culture, it looks like uh, China is going to want to uh, look for expands so he can uh, get more units out. Scythia did also manage to stay on <laughs> somehow 11 science and 22 culture. It looks like Hazaki next to him is 11 science with 19 culture, but he does have uh, less cities, I think, than uh, Scythia, which is something that the Scythia needs to somehow get the points from. Now we do uh, need to also take a look at uh, how uh, Scythia did choose to uh, go for his uh, governors and that will make quite a bit of a difference I remember he actually got Moksha in the Foror city which is gonna be um, counterproductive and then in his capital I don't remember who, who did he get did he get Magnus that would actually explain you know, his um, lack of science over there now we do have actually 82 production available for Muel. Corn is also an 82. On the other side, it looks like uh, we only have Rom Rom on the 80 number. Asticos is going to be 59. We got Hazagi on 49. Firsos on 51. It doesn't like uh, Corny next to Firsos. It's uh, going to be quite dangerous over here in the next part of the game. We do have um, new campuses uh, starting to come alive over here from Rom Rom, getting those extra science points in. But he's a little bit late than uh, Muel was on the science number. Muel already did manage to get to 30 
39 uh, out of 40, uh, 39 and 44, while uh, Rom Rom is on uh, 23 and 34. In the goal per 10, we do have a significant advantage coming up for COC with, uh, yes, Ben losing 14 goal a 10, but then as for Fish is making 8, we got Miel on 50, we got Corny on 19. On the other side, the Filsos is on 12, we got Hazaki on minus 3, Asticos is on 19, and then Rom Rom only on 18. It looks like... Um, uh, another legion has been pushed back uh, from uh, the front line on the city of Argos. We do have uh, multiple archers available to shoot onto one single target, and it does seem like uh, the Greek army did manage to keep on um, being bigger while his opponent over here, uh, Rome, stopped seeming, uh, stopped to seem for a little while. Uh, got an extra wave of settlers going, and it looks like he keeps up the pressure against his opponent, trying to uh, get an advantage from um, the relative peace he has behind his uh, front line. Uh, we do have actually Corny going for Butras and Feudalism coming up in one. We're probably going to see them uh, try to pre-build as many of those builders as possible to benefit from the 30% off card. Uh, and plus uh, getting the two builder extra charges uh, from the Feudalism card. Uh, we do have Kume two catapults he does have a general okay that's that's pretty big he can actually uh, try to shoot arcos over there with it we're gonna need to see if uh, ben over here is gonna get his uh, crossbows before that we do see him actually six turns away from getting um crossbows technology okay india did get five cities i have no idea why cti actually still is on four but it is what it is he's gonna need to come back anshan is being taken down by um china it looks like he's gonna have a city very far in the north now we do have um a plus a four campus no that's a plus a three i have no i know that's a plus three that's a plus three campus coming up in bravo with a possible uh, getting to plus four afterwards uh it does look like uh, city of alpha is gonna get a builder here he did get his government plaza but i don't see actually the building in the government plaza i would assume it is uh, something along the lines of either audience chamber or the world of throne i don't think a central hall would have been uh, that good in this uh, particular position uh, well we do have uh, more varus coming out from the cities of uh, india and uh, yes he's touching borders with the city of bravo over here now we do have a tile from uh, which uh, city i can actually get the shots going against that city center with a catapult but at the moment he's more focused on getting his commercials out to try to get the goal for his teammate i do have to point out Miel is going to require a lot of gold at the catapult timing to actually try to push rom rom if he is successful in pushing rom rom uh, from uh, such a early stage of the game with catapult technology you can imagine that is going to be so valuable for them in the next um in the mid to late game i should say in the next part of the game and uh, we do have uh, according with 49 science and 49 culture looks like uh, rom rom is uh somehow staying on only on uh, 26 and 38 uh, very far away from males 39 and 50. uh we also have a task for fish that will need a lot more points to actually trade punches with hazagi at the moment and not really getting those uh we do have also asticos um uh, retreating his line of uh, units looks like he's rebuilding the line of units actually uh to go for another one we're going to need to see the second wave of attacks going on there okay government plaza government plaza no oh okay fifth city coming out from uh Cithia, finally to the south over there it's gonna be good he's gonna be fine he's gonna be fine guys he's fine uh wall of throne okay so alpha is gonna go wall of throne uh for the faster build uh, still doesn't have a sucker horse archer. Come on, one sucker horse archer. Come on, man. You gotta do it, man. One sucker horse archer. What a sucker horse archer for uh, for you when uh, there are so many people wanting a sucker horse archer. Anyway, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, okay so it does look like the stalemate between the early wars uh, has uh, started on all fronts uh we do have uh say jog not able to push into china yet uh, he's gonna have a lot of upgraded pre builds and i gotta say this is gonna be amazing with uh, three of his archers already having the plus one uh, promotion uh, you can imagine he's gonna be quite happy when he's gonna get to upgrade those into hawachas um at the same time we do see uh, the fish uh, struggling against hazagi not really making uh, any kind of headway against him nor uh, defend against him 
uh, he, uh, one is uh, fish is on 15 signs we do have Hazagi on 11 a lot better culture coming out from the fish when it comes to uh, Hazagi um, uh, I do also want to point out Miel uh, on 53 signs Rom Rom just managed to get the 47 signs and 44 culture on his own empire with both of them benefiting from 100 plus ish in production they're gonna get to build a lot of both one of the biggest problems of uh, team Ulysses is at the moment the gold generation we do have people making four times the gold of the biggest gold generator of team Ulysses or two times actually more than the enemy team combined on the other side we do have also corning getting an economy task for fish is uh, trying as fast as possible to get the commercials down and get as much uh, gold extra as possible gorgo just doesn't have the opportunity to generate gold because he has major problems when it comes to uh, his the next door neighbors he did manage to get that uh, wait third city to the south over there which is going to be a little bit um, more safe but he still needs to use that to, uh, to get units on the front line in the back line it does seem like of course rom did manage to get 28 science and 36 culture got two four six seven cities and i'm pretty sure he has another center on the way somewhere uh he's uh, still putting pressure on uh, gorgo not letting him sim and not letting him get out of there which is gonna again cause quite a bit of an issue over here on coc's team if they don't manage to balance this out with the uh, takeover of the um the English Empire. I gotta say, Muel has a very big mission in front of him right now. Take that uh, empire over of uh, Rome, Rome, because otherwise it does look like in the um, uh, late game it's gonna be quite an issue. Also, Sejong has the same mission to go against uh, China and try to take him down. Uh, I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised from Ulysses' point of view. Like, Rome over here is uh, quickly set to actually be a big empire in the next part of the game, but he's gonna require a last, at least 30, 40, 30. Um, of uh, keep pushing against Gorgo and uh, seeming behind all of this to get a real advantage against his opponent uh, while um, uh, Muel did manage to uh, sorry uh, Corny did manage to secure that advantage from an early stage in the game not only benefiting from the seven extra science but also managing to get um, the cities going faster than uh, Kublai China Kublai China is uh, still on 28 science with 26 culture the difference between them has been big for some time there's more production on Corny over there and overall it does seem like He's much better prepared for the next part of the game. Uh, Firsos did manage to take down uh, that city in the north. I don't know exactly what it was. Anshan, Geneva. It was a science city state. That's what I remember. That's about it. Now we do have uh, still fish over here trying to fend off these uh, Varus uh, from his uh, territory from the city of uh, Bravo. Uh, we do have uh, actually one of the Varus uh, managing to step in his borders and that's uh, quite unfortunate now that Varus is going to be quite uh, strong because it does benefit from the crusade ability of um, India as well. Let's actually take a look over here. Oh my god, so many shops. Are we having a navy being built? Because if we don't have a navy being built build 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 this is gonna be a disaster we got two ships three ships that's it that's the fleet of uh, england oh my god okay at least his opponent doesn't have a fleet either we got uh, Miel going apprenticeship it's gonna take a while they're still fighting for these uh, animals by the way uh Les unités de ménage de Renaissance dans le rayon de deux cas. Okay. Cas means style. Interesting. Lol. Uh, China is going to attack Victoria. Now, that's a very good question. I'm thinking China should attack Victoria. And I was thinking this uh, from an early stage, but it doesn't seem like that's uh, going to happen with Sejong so close to him. Like, the, the second he actually put those cities right in the face of Sejong, he kind of, uh, you know set the tone but yeah it does look like he has a few units uh, going towards the south over there towards uh, england that's not gonna go well for england he sees the units and it looks like he did manage to upgrade one of his into a uh, swordsman he's gonna need quite a few arches if he wants to defend himself and by the look of the army composition of uh, china i'm thinking he might actually want to go as fast as possible towards castles and upgrade uh, those uh, into courts as those will actually be able to take over cities over here from uh, england 
Now we do have uh, multiple markets coming out from Janju. He did manage to get his Expo technology, and we do say um, that he can upgrade a few of them. Unfort uh, well, unfortunately, I don't know if uh, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, COC is going to require all of the gold they can get their hands on so they can up actually upgrade those units uh, for the Caravel attack. And this is the moment that Bjorn actually needs to uh, chop as many units out as possible, as many of those Ganis to in pre builds so he can actually upgrade as many boats as he can. I'm not that convinced they are aware about Ulysses gold troubles but as you can see over here Ulysses just keeps on going down in the gold pattern and not going up uh, India is a gold gobbler over here he doesn't actually have an economy to speak of we do have uh, China that also doesn't have an economy to speak of um, we do have him uh, we do have CTA putting down more commercials on the other side so COC is uh, aware that they're going to require a lot more gold in the next phase uh, China didn't put a single commercial down. I do see campuses coming around, but I don't see commercials. And uh, this seems like uh, it's going to be a mistake in the next part of the game. Even if he wants to attack with uh, these um, horses against his opponent and upgrade them into horses, he's still going to require gold to do that. So it's a bit unfortunate that he's not going to get that opportunity. Okay, we got uh, some attacks coming in. That Varu is going to get a promotion. 100% he's going to get a promotion. Oh, he died. Never mind. He got a promotion, but then he died. He was uh, Hazagi was just not faster, faster than fish on the bottoms with some uh, quick clicks over here. Uh, that's for fish does manage to attack it with five units and takes that Varu down from his uh, tile. And we do have a few repositioning of the units and it does look like CTA is getting new horses out to fight against his opponent. Uh, both actually are uh, trying to get uh, an advantage from having a bigger military. Uh, Gorgo has to attack Age of Steam as uh, well, otherwise Age of uh, Steam crash Victoria easily. Uh, crash or crack? Crash. 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 Uh, with crack. Crash. Oh man, oh man. Anyway, well, I guess uh, really just taking a break or something? I have no idea. Anyway, we got more horses coming out from uh, CTS cities. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually take a look at the yield stamp, but we can take a look, a quick peek at the era score uh, since uh, we're 10 tens or 9 tens away from uh, the next era. We do have uh, Ben actually uh, not managing to get uh, even normal age points over here. That's for fish. He did get them. He does need the 10 more points to get to uh, the golden age. Muel uh, will need 12 points to actually get to the golden age. We got Corny on uh, 40 out of 40. That means he's going need 51 to get to the golden age that's actually quite expensive uh we do have also Firsos uh, 34 out of 41 very very far away from getting a golden age hazagi seven points out that's not bad actually um actually sorry it's uh, eight points out we do have uh, Astic was uh, very far away from getting a golden age rom rom is four points out from getting a golden age so it is much closer than Muel. Uh, uh, to getting that golden age and uh, well we're going to need to see if Muir is going to want to try to stay in a dark age so he can actually get an extra plus five against his opponent and might actually secure him the extra um, advantage that he needs to get against his opponent we got uh, the great lighthouse being built in the city of london it looks like um no wait why is that called the grand fair the grand far i mean far i understand because far is basically like you know a light but uh, why is a fair isn't wait is that maybe i misread maybe, how do you say that in uh, french anybody anybody uh french any any frenchy here can you tell us why what is uh, the great uh, something called great lighthouse called in uh, french is it the fair because isn't that the... mm. translate okay google translate Pretty sure everybody uh, French over here is watching Legion stream or something. Marley uh, Par. Okay. Sorry, it's saying it in uh, English. And now the Great Lighthouse. Okay. Now we're switching it to French. Let's see. Getting distracted over here. I'm sorry. And we're going to see what's going on. Okay. There we go. French. Le Grand de Far. Okay. Okay. It is uh, the Far. Not fair, far. Okay. 
Asa he got military alliance now plus crusade. Yeah, but it looks like he's now moving fish. Uh, he did manage to uh, fish did manage to get to 20 science and 34 culture while uh, Hazagi is just uh, stalemated over there with 13 and 22 or stagnated I should say we do have uh, England getting a few more builders out and it looks like uh, he's uh, started off uh, his production of galleys um, well reluctantly he doesn't have a lot of galleys uh, being pumped out of uh, his uh, cities uh, they do see there's a lot more gold available actually at the moment there's not much of a difference in gold available to be honest but anyway we do have um, Gorgo managing to push back the Roman legions uh, with uh, his uh, newfound abilities to get the crossbows going uh, upgraded it looks like he did manage to actually overwhelm the opponents we do have uh, Firsos uh, discovering uh, Chateau next time that's actually Castle's technology with mercenaries also coming up next time he's gonna get to upgrade all of those uh, horses into courses and send them on the way towards uh, England uh, towards Muir we do have Muir getting uh, military uh, tactics uh, in two turns he's gonna get access to pikemen uh, technology and men at arms we do have also him uh, getting mercenaries in two turns and it looks like he's not charging as fast as possible towards that um, terrible timing he's more concerned about his uh, empire's well-being on the land than he is on the seas he does have uh, still 56 science a six science uh, advantage against the rome rome with a bit of uh, ooh, 66 he just jumped up uh, with 10 points ooh. Ooh, nice okay that's 14 points uh, advantage against rom rom we don't have uh, any Scythian movement towards the borders of uh, Panna. Looks like, yes, uh, Panna is going to finish that Wall of Throne and he's going to pay less for his military. Definitely a welcome reprieve uh, from the economic uh, problems that Hazagi had. Uh, we do have also multiple crossbows coming out of the cities of uh, Rome. I do see him uh, getting some new legions out and we're going to need to see how fast he's uh, going to get to upgrade these. It does seem like at the moment, Asticos uh, with 31 uh, science is now managing to um, overwhelm his opponent in the science numbers, but he did manage to get a lot of cities out and with these new cities he's gonna get to build new campuses and libraries and everything in them so he can get uh, score those points he also can actually um, connect his economy up with England to the south while at the moment it does look like um no punches are being traded between the two opponents. Uh, that will change significantly soon. We do have um, the courses of uh, China actually getting upgraded in the city of Taiwan, which he can actually uh, send them very, very quickly to the south against uh, England. That, uh, uh, there are some units to get upgrades there, but they're not upgraded yet. And those swordsmen will not hold uh, their ground for too long against these cuirassiers. The uh, cor courses, courses, not cuirassiers. Uh, Ulysses gold problem yeah Ulysses does have a big gold problem they're putting all the gold on Firsos now so he can get that attack going against uh, his opponents and we do have a much better economy coming up from uh, COC across the board here and it does look like uh, with Corny and Muel it's assuming they can actually get a lot of science number and uh, culture number out now we do have a problem on Tasco and Gorgo and of course uh, they're going to need to figure out a way to solve it but I gotta say that opponents um, Firsos, Sazagi and Asticos are not that far ahead uh, of them in uh, science or culture and there still is uh, some light at the end of the tunnel we got the pingala establishing in the city of agra looks like multiple swordsmen coming out from uh, hull a newcastle upon time is trying to get the uh, grant afar uh, but it's not gonna work uh, london is gonna get it it's gonna be actually rom rom who's gonna manage to get this wonder approved in his empire finished over there uh, looks like he's also getting photo settled by mice oh my god gorgo just uh, okay no respect from gorgo either you know he's just going man he's just going against his opponent uh, 18 science and 41 culture next to Rom Rom's 52 and 45 but he does know Rom Rom must be uh, acutely aware of uh, the presence of uh, Muel on his own sea so he's going to need to defend himself with uh, a, a modic uh, land army and a very powerful naval uh, presence now we do have uh, more uh, courses being chopped over here from the cities of uh, taiwan we didn't actually see the initial attack going on against uh, the english uh, cities but we're probably going to see it in just a few seconds uh, and we do need to see also when uh, city is going to manage to get to that same technology 29 science and the 38 culture task for fish is probably clicking on those either steer ups button or uh, quarter button and not to mention the mercenary button so he can uh, get an advantage against his opponent hazagi he did manage to get that science advantage against him so now it's a matter of uh, cleaning up hey fire how are you doing ma'am welcome we got fire in the house it's getting hot 
uh, you need see is still gonna have a goal problem when it comes to uh, getting everything going over here for um, England uh, or I should say age of uh, steam England <laughs> While we do have uh, them benefiting from barely 200 gold on the other side, it looks like more than 700 gold is available for COC to upgrade whatever they need. And I gotta say, uh, Firsos over here is probably thinking that he's gonna get some uh, pillages from the lands of England. While yes, there are a few mines uh, scattered over, uh, we do have uh, Muel with uh, 76 science, and I'm pretty sure he's uh, gonna get strong enough units to defend against these courses soon enough. Uh, just taking a break from France, uh, smashing uh, New Zealand in the Ruby World Cup. Ah, I see. I have time. Okay, okay. I mean, I guess uh, you like the Frenchies wrapping them up a little bit, you know? Uh, getting a wake-up call over there. It is what it is. Okay, so we do have uh, five courses uh, coming around uh, from um, the main cities of uh, China and uh, it looks like one, two, three, four, five courses are coming out from Taiwan with another one uh, joining the gang next time. Uh, it does seem like uh, Miel did notice what's going on and now immediately upgraded men at arms so he has uh, strong enough units to defend against the courses. Uh, also, uh, Seijong next to him did deploy a few units to help him out over there, close the gaps so he doesn't allow those uh, courses to just uh, walk in uh, unimpeded into the territory of both of them uh, amazing very good gameplays coming up from um, both Muel and uh, Seijong next to him Corny we do have uh, Muel with 400 uh, military while I gotta say Firso is 730 military it doesn't look like he's gonna breach the defenses at the moment of uh, England while uh, still we don't see a major naval build up between Muel and Rome Rome which is something that uh, Muel can do while Rome Rome can barely do <laughs> I'm uh, I'm very curious when this is gonna happen okay more setters coming out from Bradford I'm pretty sure that also um, uh, trying to secure their gold ranges, which is an information we didn't actually get to see in the um, uh, last moments over here in the last two turns. Uh, looking at the era score, we're not that far away. How many turns are we actually? We're gonna see it on the middle of the screen soon in 50 seconds or something. How far away are we are from the next gold? Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, eight turns. Okay, so oh, right, I think I saw it turns. We got uh, oh my god, he switched back the era score screen. No, some uh, trades going on over here between the units of uh, Rome and the units of Gorgo. Looks like Gorgo is flexing those uh, crossbow muscles and uh, trying to go against his opponent as we uh, see he possibly can um not only that but also getting his uh, sim behind all of this because finally he didn't manage to push out his aggressor um it looks like chandra gupta still on two four five series and uh, it looks like he's uh, not really managing to break uh, gorgo's defenses with uh, multiple uh, markets already in line we do have um city over here getting more and more economy coupling his economy on the coast with the uh, sejongs uh, they're gonna get to generate the gold they need in the next era now we've been uh, playing path of exile uh, oh my god fire path of exile is uh, amazing and the way oh look at that you might actually get to meet nemesis over here planning our trip to india next year Woohoo! let's go connecting people man Well, it doesn't look like uh, Mule didn't have time to get to his own Corsair technology, to castles, and uh, his um, horses in the north are suffering. Uh, he's moving them back uh, strategically and trying to replace them with men at arms when possible. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to have enough men at arms at the moment. Uh, he's also getting Oracle in the city of Newcastle upon Tyne. One of his horses got taken down, and as you can see over here, he's closing the chokes as fast as they go down. We do have... Uh... We do have Kublai over here, unfortunately, not managing to get fast enough uh, in the science and in the culture. We're going to need to see if um, Seijong is going to have an answer for him, especially uh, that Hawacha timing. Oh, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, Temple of Artemis did get built by Liverpool. Zanzibar, Miel. Okay, very nice. He's getting that extra 10 boost, 10% 10 boost in his empire, probably from Happy Citizens. Now, uh, looking at the... Oh, it's actually two turns. Oh, my God. Okay, it's two turns. Uh, we do have... Um, 
Castles coming up in two turns for uh, Miel. I do see Ben four turns out from uh, points out from getting a Golden Age fish. Did manage to get a Miel. Did uh, ooh, has four more points. Four more points necessary. And of course, that's uh, Oracle coming up next turn with uh, another point somewhere. Uh, Corny two points out. Looks like Firsos is gonna go Dark Age here. We got Hazaki with 53 out of 53. He did secure his Golden Age. Uh, we got Asticos also with uh, 49 out of 59. He's gonna go in the normal age. He got a little bit too greedy got too many cities out and didn't get to actually build some wonders and get the points it racked in we do also have a uh, rom rom two turns away from getting a monarchy and we're going to see if that actually uh, is going to get him the golden age the grand Le grand fan did get built in the city of london giving him uh, an extra uh, vision uh, oh wait, wait a second it's a move one point right on his units not bad not bad not bad not bad and he secured his golden age, 65 out of 55. Asticos, 8 points out. He's not going to make the dark age threshold, unfortunately. And it looks like on the other side, Ben is only 2 points out from getting his golden age. Fish uh, did manage to secure me. Uh, Miel does need 4 points and he should have it. Actually, let's see when the turn rolls over. 59 out of 60. Okay, he's uh, 1 point out. It's fine. Okay, we do have a counter-attack coming up from uh, uh, Korea, pushing back the courses of his opponent. Uh, looks like uh, there are some skirmishes being done also in the lands of uh, Hull, because one of those uh, traders is out of position and there is a courser available to stand on it. As you can see, England is uh, making quite a ruckus over here to get that trader sa to safety, but he cannot stop the pillages on two of his uh, tiles. That will actually give enough uh, gold to Rom Rom to upgrade the decent amount of uh, chunk of his boats if he does manage to need them i do also want to point out on uh, sejong side we do have him uh, trying to get uh, colosseum wow i see an arena is being built in the city of, uh, of his uh, second city over here in the moksha city I'm very curious to see if he's actually gonna go there what is asticos doing asticos looks like he did manage to push back uh, the gorgo units asticos on uh 46 uh, science with 48 culture definitely overwhelming bands uh, science and culture we do have him uh, chopping new legions out and it looks like he's gonna click on printing uh he's also aware that his uh, ally is getting attacked to the south and uh, he's gonna need to do something something to put the pressure back on uh, gorgo so he uh, focuses everything in the south and not at his his opponent uh, everything at his army actually not at his opponent and to have him uh, repositioning a little bit his uh, unit so they can uh, be prepared next time to start moving uh, he will uh, try to get our money somewhere that's actually a very good question where is he getting our money uh, in Kumasi, he wants Kumasi. Okay, I mean, that's not bad actually getting those uh, extra culture points uh, from the districts you build. That's pretty good. Plus five campus uh, started up in Putoli. We do have a builder coming out next turn. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a plus two charges. And uh, well, we do have him um, needing to get his golden age points. He does need what six points? Oh my god, that's a lot of points. Oh, that's a lot of points. Seven points needed for my boy over here to actually get his golden age. That's a bit too much, sir. That's a bit too much. Doesn't seem like he's gonna get the golden age. He's gonna he's gonna actually lose quite a bit of culture here and gold per turn. And they just don't have that much to spare. Okay, let's see. Uh, more pillages being done. It looks like another courser did manage to walk in and pillage the tile. Uh, we got two, four, five uh, still available here. Thank you so much, Fire Tiger. Dear one, sub to Redmire. Good evening, sir. Congratulations. Welcome to the night. <laughs> I have a laptop instead of an Xbox now that I'm in New Zealand and working. I'll have to work out how to join a game with you guys sometimes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, we can help you out, definitely. I'm pretty sure we can help you out. Uh, oh, thank you so much for the reset. Much Fire appreciated. Fire Tiger Page retained his knighthood for five months. Ooh, five months. Let's go. Let's go. Getting that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we do need to um, uh, take a look if uh, England is going to get his uh, boats out. It doesn't look like it. Why we do have uh, some galleys uh, being prepared over here in the city of Preston. It does seem like uh, the other England being played by Rom Rom is getting pushed uh, by uh, Gorgo. Uh, I do see Gorgo trying desperately to get the campus out from the city of Sparta so he can get some uh, extra yields going. Uh, he, is that a reef that I see in the, city, in the lake? Is that actually a reef? Is that going to be a plus for uh, campus? 
Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad. He still needs like 20 plus points. Don't get me wrong. But still, that's a good way to get the science going. You know, fast way. Get that science going. Okay, so it looks like the crossbows of uh, Greece are slowly uh, tearing through the defenses of uh, Preston. Uh, we do have a fleet being built on the west side of um, uh, Rome. Rome. He's definitely aware that there's going to be a problem. We're also going to have a pause in the next 15 seconds of two minutes while uh, we let them actually get these... Um, um, uh, I would say choices on the board in the World Congress. We're going to come back in uh, uh, two minutes and we're going to see the conclusion of the vote. So be right back, guys. Two minutes. Dun, da, da, da. let's actually see what's going on over here uh, we do have Borism getting some points and it uh, looks like the two options uh, got uh, quite uh, very quickly over here what happened okay dark age for the liege he's in a dark age boys I don't have to say there's a significant advantage when it comes to the science of uh, COC when it comes to turn 56 at the moment with Muriel and Corny leading the path with uh, 88 each. We do have uh, Corny with 78 uh, culture as well. Now we do have a lot more gold generated and it looks like Muriel did manage to get the plus uh, growth, I think, actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but honestly, I don't know. Now we do have a catapult uh, starting to move uh, between the Mycenae and uh, Preston and uh, he's going to start shooting in two turns probably. Uh, we're uh, going to need to see also if China is going to retain his loyalty because he did go in a dark age if I remember correctly. He couldn't get his golden age which as you can see over here there's a lot of loyalty coming out from the cities of um, uh, Korea. Uh, Korea did also manage to uh, stand up to uh, the attack of the corsairs of um, China and looks like he's now going to need to face off these um, crouching tigers of uh, China on the battlefield. Now these are very strong units if uh, they get close enough to their opponents with an extra plus seven getting activated looks like uh, John Ju is gonna oh my god he's actually gonna build Colosseum right in the face of his opponent when his opponent cannot do anything about it looks like also England is uh, managing to successfully contain the attack of uh, China even if he has some uh, weak spots uh, I think those are actually traps uh, for his opponent we do have in uh, england also rec oh, recruiting actually leaving the city of uh, zanzibar he probably wanted to stop that course from getting in uh, multiple um Encouraging Tigers are getting uh, trained over here in the cities of uh, Firsos. I do have to say he's only on 33 uh, science with 39 culture next to very big opponents. Uh, we do have also Task for Fish managing to get to 44 science and 47 culture and definitely managing to over um, sim uh, or I should say sim over Hazagi, especially after he did manage to cripple Hazagi at the beginning of the game, taking out his um, Setra extra city. That was quite a problem. And the gifts of the gifts keeps on giving. We got Edmire. Thank you so much, sir. We got a gift 
for F F M F G 12 3 to 1 good evening sir and welcome thank you so much man thank you so much much appreciate it we got a giving stream over here Woo, let's go and i gotta say we're gonna need to prepare guys we're gonna need to prepare in um december you know what's gonna happen you know what's gonna happen in december yeah yeah let's go can't wait and we got still quite a few surprises hidden cup coming up uh, uh tomorrow we're gonna have uh, on sunday the third game between these two very good teams we're also gonna have the ccc being played the next weekend with a lot of uh, a lot of teams showing up over there to the party line we do have uh, also Gorgo taking quite a few shots from his opponent. I do have to say that at the moment Asticos does have the bigger stick. Uh, we do have a new swordsman coming out from uh, the series of uh, Gorgo. And I'm pretty sure he's going to try to get to uh, Men at Arms so he can get them stronger, heavier than his opponent. Well, we're going to need to see at the moment. He's uh, quite lucky actually defending against his uh, opponent and uh, still able to keep his units alive. I do have to say Rome is bringing up um, siege units to the front line and... Uh, as you can see over here, it does seem like uh, at the moment uh, we do have uh, still a stalemate uh, happening between uh, Scythia and uh, Chandra Gupta. Chandra Gupta did manage to actually um, uh, get a hold of uh, sometimes from the north over there, uh, changing uh, where the lines are being drawn on the battlefield. We do have uh, Alpha also managing to get Ipad land for an extra um, uh, trade slot. Not bad. He's also going to get Intelligence Agency coming up in four turns, allowing him to actually get uh, the next uh, gaff, um, uh, sorry, the spy in. The next diplomatic visibility started off on his opponent. It looks like there is a man at arms defending the city of uh, Preston. We don't actually see if he upgraded anything with an admiral. Uh, I don't think he actually did manage to get um, uh, the privateer I mean, or I should say the sea dog I mean, in his case. We do have uh, Miel with 104 science and 53 uh, culture. Looks like uh, Rom Rom over here with um, 140 production. He only benefits from 77 science and 68 culture. The longer he's being pressured uh, uh, from Gorgo or I should say by Gorgo, the harder it will be for him to defend against uh, any kind of coastal attack. We did actually see Miel not... Um, uh, charging forward towards that caravel timing even though he did have uh, the resources to upgrade his boats uh, as many as he wanted uh, to go against his opponent he chose not to which is well okay sure you can you can do that i'm a bit worried about that but sure i mean yeah i do have to point out miel didn't actually get his uh, units out uh, on the other side we do have a lot of pre-builds uh, getting ready from rome rome which is very important it looks like also they're passing as much as possible the admirals the great admirals between the two Englands, they lock them in and since nobody else actually has uh, harbor points being generated in the game nobody else is available to actually lock that in uh, multiple uh, hawachas are getting uh, built over here in the city of seoul and upgraded i do see also he has the masculine technology of course and he is uh, gonna do quite a bit of damage against the cities of um uh, china here oh my guys it's happening it's happening They're putting the gold where their mouth is, man. We got an attack being prepared over here against his opponents. Okay. Oh, Colosseum st stopped? Stopped being built in the city of Jonju. What did happen that he needed to stop? Does he actually want to get a few more of those uh, trebuchets? But I don't think that they're, you know, they're that strong. But anyway, we'll see. They These uh, tigers, uh, from what I can see, they don't do that much against the musketeers. Uh, 69 defense on the musketeers with uh, the 45 attack of the um, uh, field cannons. Or I should say the tiny field cannons. The baby field cannons. The crouching tigers. Uh, I do also want to point out the crouching tigers again. They do get, I actually do the highest um, attack that they can get uh, when they're close up to their opponents and uh, that's not usually something that you can uh, just force your crouching tigers to do go against if you go against units that are uh, less um, advanced than you sure that definitely works if you're going against higher tier units or same tier units it's gonna be a problem for your crouching tigers to actually defend against those uh, units now we do have um, a lot of them actually coming out from uh, Chengdu and I do see Zhao Dong is gonna try to get another swordsman going there's a problem over there with uh, the loyalty but it looks like he's fixing it slowly uh, we do have uh, the 
uh, England pushing back those courses and it does seem like um, I, I gotta say the investment that they put into Firsos' courser attack did actually pay off in the sense that uh, England didn't actually want to get a military out, a navy out and upgraded to go against the other England, which is still uh, actually... Um, uh, slowing down uh, definitely uh, the war between uh, COC and Ulysses. Uh, we're going to need to see uh, them uh, trying to get an advantage from the next part. And we did have a quick pause and pause over their maneuver. Okay, how much I'm moving in? He's going to get to shoot against his opponent soon. I do see a general actually has been recruited in the city of Seoul. Uh, we do have a trebuchet coming up in one turn there. And it looks like uh, they did manage to get next to the city center of Chengdu. Very quick moves over there. I'm, I'm actually very surprised we don't have musket men uh, getting upgraded over there. The city of Chengdu is getting walls. So he's going to get to uh, defend himself a little bit better. While uh, we do have builders improving the tiles behind all of this. Uh, happening uh, i do ha also want to point out finally we see the pantheon that got chosen by korea it is going to be um, culture from plantations he did manage to get the oral tradition over there or as we like to call it now um well goddess of festivals I, I don't know how you get from one to the other but sure okay yeah i can i can work with that definitely can work with that we do have uh, Romrom with uh, 88 uh, science and 63 culture. Looks like um, at the moment he's uh, not making any gold. He's only on 10 gold at 10, but he does have 140 production. That's more production than Kony and Muel. Uh, we do have also Firsos with 102 production, but he's uh, next to um, Sejong's uh, 136. It looks like um, uh, there is a stabilizing force over there in the south. England is not going to get to uh, be pushed that much. We do have uh, some units being deployed from uh, Rome, and uh, it does seem like three catapults are trying to take that city down while we don't have a fast unit from um, Gorgo to actually take it out entirely. I'm actually curious if he's going to manage to sneak in a horse and take that city with him. We do have a major fleet being prepared here with uh, to, about like two between 12 and 20 boats i think we got built over here to the west side let's see 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 boats i, I count 15 boats uh galleys uh, that can turn into cannibals if they do have the money for it that's the problem get the money for it uh, no more no animals for them to benefit from uh, no extra damage uh, coming in over there for their uh, units and it does seem like mm, we're going to see what's going to happen Yield stab, we do have uh, Corny actually with 125 gold, the uh, mirror is 85, and then we do have Task for Fish on 74. Yes, Ben is losing a little bit of gold with uh, minus 7, but it's all good. We do have uh, Cynthia managing to get his next uh, technology units against uh, Hazagi, and it does look like uh, his um, uh, knights are able to put up a much better fight than his horses were against the Vanus. Not to mention, we do have those crossbows that uh, can deal uh, massive amounts of damage. Still no Saka horse such as uh, running around the map here, and we're going to need to see if. Um, uh, and when he's going to want to go against his opponent. Looks like uh, the knights are just going to be uh, fast on their hoofs uh, to take down those Varus. Not very maneuverable units. Uh, those Varus are quite heavy and they move slowly. We have uh, two units of uh, India just dying over there. So many units arriving uh, to defend Zhao Dong. We do have um, also the attack on uh, Chen Chuan Chuan. And uh, it does seem like at the moment um, we're definitely going to need a lot more musket men if uh, this attack uh, can go through. Uh, we do have a counter attack over there. One of the Hawachas did go down. And it does seem like uh, China is getting the position in front of the city center of Zhao Dong. Also started to put a few uh, walls over there to the north um, to give uh, some defense. Uh, extra defense bonus not to mention acquire the gold and the culture okay more hawachas i do see uh, colosseum is uh, finishing up in four turns i gotta say i don't feel like this is a total destruction army over here he would have needed to follow up with uh, or i should say he would have needed in the mix uh, at least three more musket men to take down john dong he's still gonna try though and uh, we do have some courses on the defense we do have two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve crouching tigers available for um, china to uh, try to defend himself uh, Kublai China also will have to defend himself against the uh, trebuchets and of course uh, these um, uh, these musket men are going to be deadly against his units you can see the musket men do take out that um, uh, swordsman in one shot easy peasy uh, how often do cities actually flip in these kinds of games very rare it's very rare I gotta say it's always a pleasure to watch you uh, cast games Michael thank you so much sir much appreciated sir thank you thank you 
Uh, we do have uh, also more of these libraries coming up in Chanchon, and I do see uh, he's finishing up another uh, commercial in the city of Jeonju. Uh, he's uh, gonna try to get that uh, science and culture and the economy booming. Uh, we still have a meal to make a move over here in Dasri. It seems like he's uh, losing the timing when it comes to his um, uh, naval power, especially if uh, Romrom does decide to upgrade. A good thing is, uh, for COC, Ulysse uh, just doesn't have the gold. They definitely have the means, they just don't have the gold. In the production screens, we do have a COC uh, ahead with uh, 166, 158 and 104 points. I don't have to point out that uh, Zhao Dong's uh, defenses are almost taken down. And it does seem like these Chinese um, coaching Tigers don't do that much damage against the Hawachas. Especially when they are, they are on the walls. You can see they are actually getting uh, some extra defense over there from those um, great walls. Uh, Zhao Dong's defenses are almost down because the um, Trebuchet did start shoot, uh, to shoot from the south side and it looks like slow he's gonna take that city whatever happens here uh, we do have uh, new units coming up uh, to find from uh, the city of Seoul another trebuchet is gonna uh, find his way towards the front line and another Hawacha while I'm pretty sure his um, China over here will uh try to reposition some of new units to try to take back Zhao Dong or uh, reposition his army to keep Chengdu. I also want to uh, say uh, Korea over here would do quite well to keep on uh, getting some new units to take over cities because uh, at the moment if he loses that one musket man he cannot take over a city. He can damage it, he can definitely do a lot of damage but he cannot take it over. Uh, same thing happening between Gorgo and his opponent over there and finally we got a fleet here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 13 boats and that's not that much 13 boats versus 16 boats that's uh, guys guys that's not that good i guess it doesn't matter if you have uh, 15 or 20 or 50 if you cannot upgrade them they're just as useless right not as useless i do have to say if you have like 50 of them you can just put them on every tile and it will take forever for your opponent to actually chew through the uh, through that wall Okay, so Chennai still getting those Varus out. It looks like uh, right now the new Scythian army with the knights and uh, the crossbows are uh, slowly getting the position on the city of Chennai's uh, defenders. And as you can see over here, we do have uh, a bit of a problem for Chandra Gupta. Uh, Chandra Gupta just couldn't get the stats up. We're still with 37 and 52. We do have uh, Task for Fish with 59 and 40. It looks like another one of the um, uh, units of uh, Korea did go down. That was a trebuchet that went down to the south of Zhao Dong. He's going to to use uh, to flick uh, to attack with those hawachas into the borders of uh, Zhao Dong to take the final sliver of wall uh, down from that city center so he can uh, attack uh, a little bit better against the garrison. Now we do have also a stalemate between uh, at the moment uh, Gorgo and his opponent uh, um, Astikos. Astikos did manage to actually jump up to uh, 70 science and 53 culture. It's not going to matter that much if um, his, uh, al uh, his opponent over here, Gorgo, is going to manage to breach through the defenses of Preston. And that's exactly what's going on. We do have uh, Preston getting attacked every turn by those uh, catapults from across the river on the east side. While there is one man at arm next to that city center able to take it down uh, whenever it's going to be a possibility. We do have uh, so many crossbows coming up from um, uh, Gorgo here. He's also getting his men at arms ready, getting a spy out in five turns. That he's going to need to plug into his opponent so he can get that extra diplomatic visibility going. Um, yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> Christmas is coming in December. Yep, yep. <laughs> Now, we still don't see actually an explosion in science in uh, Asticos' territory, Romrom's territory, or uh, Hazagi or Firsos. While on the other side, slowly COC is getting these points uh, in. I do have to point out the production numbers are at the moment still on COC's side. Uh, and it does look like uh, Korea slowly breaking uh, China. <laughs> there are so many units uh, still flying around from both sides that it does seem like uh, China's um, defenses are uh, still going to need to work to push these uh, offenders out of his um, uh, borders. 
with the Colosseum finishing up in uh, John June next turn. Korea is gonna get a big uh, plus when it comes to his uh, melodies inside of his uh, every city. He might actually get the bonus of uh, 10, uh, plus 10 or plus 15 when it comes to his uh, happiness, happy or ecstatic bonus over there, which is gonna matter so much for his uh, city centers, uh, outputting everything uh, the science, the culture, the gold, uh, or, and or even the. Um, um, I would say the production. We will have him already with uh, 171 production, the most production in the game. Next to Firsos is 97. Uh, next turn, we should actually see him jump up to like 180, 80 something uh, in uh, in his total empire output. Yeah, the upgrade of the caravel in the city of uh, England, age of uh, steam over there, did increase the garrison defense significantly, so it slows down uh, the damage being done against that garrison uh, by the catapults, which uh, by the looks of it is buying him quite a bit of time. Okay, so Corny j only jumped up seven more production this time. Okay, only seven production. Okay, okay. I mean, I guess he already had those bonuses, man. 119 science, 100 culture. Next to Asticus is 42 and 42. It does seem like uh, the longer the game goes on, uh, Corn is going to get the advantage. You know, we don't have anybody actually over 100 science on uh, Team Ulysses. Uh, oh, Preston went down. He did it, Gorgo, in the one versus two situation. He did manage to get a city from Ulysses. And at the moment, if you're talking about just cities, it is 2-0 for coc 2-0 the uh, fish did manage to get etc at the beginning from hazagi putting them in that situation awkward position they are in right now and right now ben did manage to take a city away from um, rom rom a coastal city nonetheless that uh, was very important for rom rom's ability to actually pump out boats on the west side it looks like uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. There isn't that big of an army available for uh, Rom Rom, but he did manage to get uh, some uh, work done into um, uh, Terracotta army. He's going to finish it in uh, Portsmouth actually next turn, which is going to give him a promotion on all of his boats. This, that is going to be massive. He's going to get the next uh, uh, plus seven, uh, the emblem promotion on his uh, caravels. Uh, that is going to allow him to do more damage or take more damage from his opponent, which is going to be very important in the upcoming uh, war. Uh, skirmish that's going to happen between the two Englands. Both of them got the navies out. We do have Reina established over there. It does seem like uh, they're talking about trade routes over here and it looks like uh, the city of London is still working internals. I do see a wave of uh, quadrips is also coming out from the English cities and uh, Gorgo is not giving up on pushing on uh, the remaining cities of uh, his opponent. Uh, we do have um, catapults starting to come out of the city and uh, army series i mean it does need to get them in the borders of chennai and i was looking over here if there is an easy way but there's like no easy way to actually attack against that city center maybe from the north but that's actually you know you need to wrap around all the way to the north with a catapult to actually get it in there that's a bit too much uh did he i think he chopped the forest i'm pretty sure he had a forest but i guess he didn't need that forest anyway it is what it is Anyway, new crossbows coming around on the defense of Chandra Gupta. Hazaki is on 42 science with 57 culture. Uh, it does seem like, of course, his economy did grow a little bit on 30 gold. It's actually, how is, how is this possible? How is like the one that lost the city making the most gold in the game for Ulysses right now? Uh, this is very, uh, very troubling. We do have Firsos on 20 gold. Hazaki is on 30. We got Asticos on 21. Rom Rom on 17. Nobody above 50? I mean, how, how are you going to pay for everything? We got on the other side, Gorgo, minus 10 gold. We got that, right? He got a lot of military. He took a city state. He deserves it. You know, it's fine. Task for fish, 104 gold a turn. Mir, 72 gold. Corny is on 158. And they do have uh, the better uh, science numbers. And they do have also the better culture numbers. Now, uh, you can uh, imagine that uh, also production is going to give them uh, quite a bit of an advantage. Uh, it does look like a um, slow slowly slowly CTI is managing to push through the defenders of uh, Chandra Gupta if Chandra Gupta is not gonna get the stronger units he's gonna be in trouble now we do not have yet the upcoming units from um, uh, Rome and I doubt that he's actually gonna get enough gold so he can upgrade that uh, we do have a few cannibals upgraded here to five that I saw and he does have an animal I think with that fleet so at least Rom Rom is securing his uh, navel on the west side now, it doesn't have the goal to upgrade a lot of those units. 
So uh, still, this game can actually go multiple ways. If Ulysses does manage to actually figure out the weakness in their opponent's um, uh, defenses and at the same time does manage to punch through that uh, weakness and does manage to uh, counter the problem they have with the gold, then they actually uh, might uh, come against the COC on the same footing. Uh, COC at the moment with the extra science in the culture they benefit benefiting from, not to mention the gold, they can think of a lot more strategies than their opponents and they do have the flexibility of of applying those strategies whatever they may be against their opponents because they have so much gold per turn um, we do have uh, actually Gorgo over here that did manage to get to 37 science and 55 culture not even close to Asticos's 82 and 54 that's uh, on one side the um, advantage of having more cities on the other side also or the advantage of having uh, some mountains in the north over there giving you bonuses towards your uh, campuses he did have some geothermals as well that um, campus in Arpim is a plus five that's a very good one uh, it's good that he's also getting uh, the culture from attacking into his opponent's units and taking them down uh, Gorgo over here does have the ability of um, acquiring the culture points uh, proportional to how much uh, health that uh, unit had well, we do have uh, Gorgo keeping on uh, the pressure on uh, Rome Rome. Uh, Rome Rome at the moment is not actually uh, getting uh, multiple units uh, on the east side. And it looks like he's uh, suggesting Rome to bring some units to defend his city of Portsmouth. So he, so he can focus in the south uh, to take care of uh, his opponent on the seas. Now we do have uh, Muel also getting up to 171 production. Corn is on 187. Uh, while uh, I do see the first city of uh, China has gone down. We do have uh, new units coming in from Korea. And now that he did finish that uh, Colosseum in the city of Jeonju, he's um, getting that extra production boost much needed uh, for his units. He's getting them very quickly on the battlefield. And Dusan Chengdu is on, under siege. Uh, the, that line of uh, what? 11. How many did we have? 12. Um, uh, crouching tigers melted they melted oh my god guys guys this is uh an interesting turn of events over here uh wait uh will we uh wonder uh, what well we wonder the coc was going to pay for everything the last game yeah yeah exactly we did wonder how they were able to pay and they did manage to pay so we're gonna need to see if they pull off uh, on this side ulysses does pull off the same strategy pillage economy you know oh I see you have a big gold on your side. I gotta say, I, oh my god, well, maybe I'm, I'm gonna deviate a little bit, but I guess there's uh, nothing stopping me from doing this. <laughs> I did play a little bit of uh, Anno 2505, I believe it's called, um, in the last few days, and oh my god, I just remembered how um, the late part of the, like mid to late part of the game, when you get like your corporation bigger and so on and so forth, everybody wants your shares, man. They just want to get that gold, and, and you gotta be careful how you use your um, abilities to stop those uh, opponents from actually getting your shares anyway now we do have uh, Chengdu actually with uh, th two thirds of his uh, health and it does look like his walls are going to go down uh, quickly there is a trebuchet that is going to shoot against them and that city is going to go down to the concentrated power of multiple units from Korea he's going to push back uh, the remaining units of uh, China it does look like he's breaking Firsos in half over here with uh, Firsos trying to get Batras uh, trying to get out of Dodge we do have a massive navy being upgraded over here of Miel uh, we do have all of the promoters boats of um, Rom on the other side and it does look like of course uh, there are so many frigates quadrant pre-builds being built over here uh, in the cities of uh, England so he can keep the pressure against the other England if they do manage to break uh, two players from Ulysses there's nobody to pick up the simming maybe uh, Rome can actually try to do some simming but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get nuked before he gets to any uh, win condition uh, especially with uh, Corey benefiting from um, the lands of China getting a lot bigger we do have England uh, that will probably uh, get to trade punches with the other England for the remainder of the game and it's um gonna be Scythia finding Chandra Gupta which at the moment it kind of looks like it's a stalemate but I think actually Task for Fish is gonna get that advantage against Hazagi at one point in the game and he's gonna get to push him back and start taking over cities um, well in the meantime we do need to see um, how things will evolve over here it does look like uh, Gorgo is not getting punished from pushing into um, uh, into his opponent into um, 
uh, England and uh, he's still building up a lot of meta times getting uh, new crossbows uh, to find his opponent over here very strong units getting the promotions on the crossbows as well it's going to be very important uh no gold for everyone yeah civil war civil war in england man yeah there's no gold it, it's uh you lease them i mean they did manage to get a little bit more don't get me wrong they're like 24 13 27 29 but they're not even close to the numbers that coc has on one member okay we got some units from england also uh wanting to uh, go against taiwan and help out uh, their op uh, allies uh, two of the cities of china have fallen three of them are available we don't have a safety settler on the way i don't think so uh, this is also going to be a major problem for uh, china if he doesn't manage to actually get a safety set oh he has another settler. okay never mind he has another city to the north that was the city that he took uh, out at the beginning of the game the city state so he can get that settler moving from that city state uh, other somewhere else we're going to need to see how fast uh, Korea can actually do the damage. If uh, China is thinking of actually swimming to the other continent, he's going to need to start swimming soon so he can get there and plant a city before he's going to lose his uh, three remaining cities. There's a massive army from uh, Sejong pushing into this and it does look like, um, yes, there are some trades happening, but still the muskets of um, Korea are going to be the strongest ones, not to mention those Hawatch are doing so much damage. They're also pillaging as many tiles of, as they can get their hoofs on and as you can see the trades are going still korea's way um <laughs> yeah 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 it's uh different for a navy yeah okay okay it's happening why is taiwan building a diplo quarter oh okay Okay, I mean, I guess he locked that in. I was thinking he's still gonna build some more units here, but I guess not. Um, we only have one single trebuchet available for uh, Korea. Yes, he still has uh, Hawachas, some of them level 2 Hawachas. Very, very powerful units. Uh, he can uh, chew through the meta times line uh, quite fast, but then he's gonna need to uh, start attacking into the walls. And they are 43 defense strength walls over there in the city of Pekin. That's the capital city of uh, China, of Kublai, China. I'm gonna say Gorgo is um, getting 48 science now. It's uh, half the science of uh, Astikos. 156 production versus uh, 62 as well. Okay, we do have uh, the two fleets uh, about to meet each other uh, by the Lucifer England versus England. It's gonna happen. We got a lot of frigate pre-builds uh, being built from both of them and it does look like at the moment Gorgo is uh, not able to push successfully into his opponent but he's still gonna put the pressure uh, so he uh, forces England over here to get some land units as well as um, uh, defend his tiles spend some brain power argos is gonna get the uh, spy i did also notice uh, new men at arms are popping out from the cities of uh, sparta and eretria 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 oh whatever don't, don't mind me i'm sorry i'm trying to figure out exactly how to say something uh my my mind my mind okay oh oh that's faster than we thought it looks like another battlefield is being lost over here by uh CEO, by uh ulysse uh looks like uh, the city of azagi on the east side it's gonna get demolished for, by the concentrated power of all of these uh, Scythian units they do have one of these uh trebuches two trebuches with them and it does look like uh, at the moment hazagi well he's trying to destroy all of those tiles being very mad at the game for what happened also trying to deny his opponent from benefiting from all of those uh, resources that he is uh, destroying right now now four turns from grandmaster chapel to come out from the city of panna at the moment hazagi is making 39 faith attempts so even if he does finish that uh, building uh, the specializing building in the government um, plaza that gives you the ability to actually recruit uh, units uh, land units uh, with uh, faith well it's gonna be up in four tenths uh, great decision to cover a mini map with animations two left hands young good evening sir but that's not me though that's uh, that's liege i'm sorry i wish i had a gamivo uh, short code for you but that's not me man that's uh, this is liege stream i'm, I'm just uh, restreaming right now i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so sorry 
I would have fixed it. I definitely would have fixed it. But I gotta say, uh, that I gotta say that's cause some big brain, right? That that's some big brain moves. Uh, you see the prime and you see the commercial right on the medium. You can't miss them, man. <laughs> like you can't miss them, right? It is what it is. Uh, City of Chennai will get next turn uh, one of those um, anti-camp units and uh, we'll get a little bit uh, stronger defenses. We're going to need to see if that's actually going to be enough to stop these uh, trebuchets from taking over the city or doing uh, catastrophic damage against that city of Chennai. Uh, we do have uh, more campuses coming out from Echo, new trebuchets coming out from Alpha and um, uh, Bravo. I do see Delta getting a library in and Charlie working on that university. Uh, production uh, zones, industrial zones coming out from Seoul and we do have Seoul, I, I guess. And we do have uh, boats also coming out from him, still keeping out the pressure against China. <clears throat> Managing to chew through the Maritimes line and getting right next to the city of uh, Pekin with his units uh, pushing into Taiwan with the rest of the units. So he can start shooting against that city center. As you can see, he's uh, dropping it down to less than half HP in the wall defense. While Scythia did manage to take over the city of Chennai. And right now, the crowd is yelling behind me. When CC, when CC, when CC. Can they pull this out? We do need to ask ourselves if Ulysses can come out of this hole they dug themselves in. Now we do have uh, Isticos with 100 science, Rome Rome 118 science, they do have 176 and 129 production respectively. But then their opponents, both Muel and Cordy, benefiting from more than 200 production points each, they also have 127 science and 143 science on their side. Definitely stronger than their uh, next door neighbors. We're going to need to see how. How they're gonna get to flex that um, superiority against their opponents so they can break them uh yeah 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 massive man massive well, let me see did any of the votes okay so you guys went 70 percent coc 30 percent ulysses okay okay i gotta say man they figured out how to trigger hazagi you know, Hazagi is one of those really calculated players, really actually, you know, on point. Uh, he's doing exactly what he needs to be doing, uh, looking into the future and so on. This game, he probably saw red. It's the finals and he's lost a settler. That put him back so much. He probably only saw taking over cities of uh, Task for Fish. And Task for Fish did amazing to actually defend against uh, this uh, attack of his opponent. We do have uh, Taiwan about to be taken over as well. There are uh, only three remaining Chinese cities. While he does have a safety settler moving out from the northern city that he took over as a city state. And uh, trying to get to swim to his uh, ally. Now don't write off Asticos yet. I'm not writing him off. I'm very concerned that uh, they're pushing against two opponents, winning on both fronts, one, while Asticos can only take down uh, <coughs> Gorgo. That's it. They can only take down Gorgo. So Korea is going down. India is slowly going down. If England is going to be in trouble, and he will be in trouble, they just don't have the economy to uh, get everything going. Uh, we do need to see if um, uh, Courtney over... And uh, I gotta say, uh, Korea, Sejong. Oh my god, late game. Much better than Rome. Especially with so much land. So much land. If, uh, if Rome started off uh, differently, he started up his... Um, um, uh, same with the uh, campuses, with the government plots into commercials in like the normal same way. I think he would have been able to keep up with Korea. Uh, he didn't start like that. His ally, his uh, Korean opponent will manage to actually take over so many cities from China. And uh, it does seem like uh, he's going to inherit so much land. He's also going to have an open ability to get uh, those uh, boats out and help out uh, his ally. And we're going to need to see if uh, two versus one naval war will actually happen. It's uh, we're coming to that point in which uh, whatever Asticos does in the game, he's not gonna be able to bring it back for his uh, allies. 
I don't have to point out a lot of frigates have been upgraded over here from um, England Age of Steam. We do have one, two, three, four that I can see right now on the map with another uh, one, two, three pre-builds uh, getting ready in the city of Plymouth and York. Uh, we don't have the same uh, matching uh, range firepower from Muir, even though he does have 1465 military. Muir is not flexing it on the front line. Uh, we do need to see if uh, when he's going to get that. And of course, he's going to get a rude awakening call when these boats are going to start attacking to his own fleet over there what does uh actually i don't think uh, neither of them actually benefit from a general by the uh, from an admiral by the looks of it we did have the fleet admiral activated on uh, age of empire on Muel, but no such thing from uh, rom rom it's only one available you know you can't really have that uh, i do see a scout and i gotta say there was a little bit of a change in meta when beforehand we've seen a lot more uh, scouts in the water it doesn't look like at the moment we see that many maybe the distance is having something to say about maybe it's uh, the production necessary like england age of steam over here just cannot cannot uh, work that production um work that extra production to get the scouts out he cannot afford it Oh, wait, that's what it means? Oh, man, Embolon. Actually, I, guys, I just got at the revelation. And it's so weird that I actually had to read it in French to actually learn what it means. The Embolon promotion, formation on triangle. Wait, really? It's a formation in the triangle. Ooh, I see. So it's one boat in the front and two boats in the back. And then three boats in the back of those. And then four boats in the back of those. And Oh, oh I see okay uh anyway so uh looks like Scythia finally got some sucker horse archers running around the map over here and uh, doing the shooty shooty against his opponents he's doing massive amounts of damage with those uh, crossbows also and uh, does manage to recover some health with his uh, knights whenever he's pushing into his opponent and taking those units down and we do have uh, Chennai getting a uh, victor and the um, he's gonna stabilize the um, loyalty bonus it looks like um Asticos is looking at the grim situation happening in Hazaki's territory. It looks like he's keeping Kumasi and looking at his face over here. He's realizing what is about to happen. He cannot push into his opponent. He cannot push into Gorgo. He needs to somehow, somehow get back into the game. And he has very few possibilities of that um, happening. You know, we do have um, multiple markets coming out from uh, the Roman cities. He's trying to get that economy going. He has a lot of gold being generated over here from the trade outs. And it does seem like uh, uh, the moment. Well, Asticos, oh my God. They just don't have gold. Like an actual gold. They just don't have it. It's uh, 20, 24, 59, and 22 in the bank. While COC does benefit from 316, 449, 171, and 355. And they have the best production in the game. So that's a bit unfortunate over here. That it's somehow the Frenchies need to come back. And it's a very, very hard position to be in. With uh, two of their allies, Firsos on 10 science and 8 culture, trying to run away for his life. We do have also Hazagi uh, needing to run away over there, but he's, he, at least he does uh, still have 35 science with 59 culture. Uh, we do have uh, Rome over here that uh, did manage to get some safety uh, in um, uh, series numbers. So we're going to need to see <clears throat> him try to do another push against Gorgo at the later stage in the game. It does look like uh, right now he's uh, setting up his production capabilities a little bit late. I gotta say this is quite late in the game uh, to set up uh, set this uh, stuff up. But it is what it is. The city of Pana lost its walls, and it does seem like. Um, uh, Hazagi over there only has a few units to defend himself with. Two more cities from uh, China got taken down and it does seem like uh, England did deploy a few units to the north so he stops uh, China from actually getting a city. Princess got to the north. Korea saw him swimming over there. He uh, watched from behind those bushes over there only letting his eyes seen. Peekaboo! Well, we're going to need to see what they're going to do over here in the next World Congress. 
and uh, how the fight on the navy is uh, gonna happen it looks like uh, there are a few boats a few cannibals being upgraded over here next to the chinese territory to try to stop him from getting out and remember if they if uh, one player dies uh, there's uh, one player that's gonna be missing a military alliance and there's also gonna be no votes in the world congress not only your ability to acquire more votes will be significantly crippled but your options to vote will actually be lower than your um, opponents that do have an extra member or team that have an extra member now we do need to see how uh, Gorgo is going to be doing over there against uh, England and of course uh, how England will react with his um, seas uh, Courtney did manage to get to up to 172 science and 149 culture definitely overmatching everybody's science and culture in the game uh, Muel with 157 and 89 he's uh, still uh, trying to figure out if he needs to push against his opponent on the seas he does have the fleet ready up and uh, waiting for his opponent while he does also have uh, a few of these men at times being deployed to the north towards the Chinese territory which is getting conquered right now by Korea. Muel not taking any prisoners converting everything he has in his path to his own cities. Do have the city of Panda over there uh, trading some shots it looks like uh, frigates getting in England might want to punch out there and I gotta say Muel is in trouble he does have 1700 military <clears throat> but he doesn't have everything on the east side where of course a uh, rom rom will want to get some uh, shots from i mean to be honest even if they take out miel they still can't get back into the game and of course taking out miel is gonna be hard anyway uh, anyway we'll see we'll see frigate from both sides on the front line we got two four five uh, from uh actually yeah five no six seven oh sorry two four six seven seven I don't, for some reason i didn't see the top one and the bottom one uh while we do have on the other actually this is an evenly matched fleet the only difference is we do have um the emblem promotion coming up from uh, terracotta army on most of the english units so that's definitely gonna help him out this is not a fleet you actually want to push into to be honest neither of neither of them want to push into each other I don't see um, listening post is being done over here. So there's an extra diplomatic visibility being generated. Newcastle upon Tyne is getting Emotep to work for him. That's Colossus, actually. Uh, okay, that's Colossus. I still don't see the Pantheon that he got, by the way. I still don't see the Pantheon. He can get uh, what uh, Lee is pointing out, that he can get uh, Venetian Arsenal. I really hope he doesn't, because you, there's there's quite a tradition on this stream, or somehow, like a habit on this stream. Every time somebody actually builds Venetian Arsenal, he loses. And yes, I know, don't get me wrong. Venetian Arsenal, good wonder, a lot of bonus points. But somehow, the idea of getting Venetian Arsenal, or uh, what does make you actually choose to go for it makes you lose it is what it is you get that safety in your mind oh i'm gonna build the boat so quickly my en oh, enemy is not gonna do anything about it man and then poof you click on units and you realize hey wait i cannot get more than two units in one and from one city oh well that's a pickle george yeah we need to figure out a way out of this pickle anyway do have uh, Argos with an encampment uh, put down next turn. He's going to get an extra point of defense over there. Uh, Pana looks like it's going to go down. Very few units from um, uh, Chandra Gupta to remain alive. He's trying to get the safety center from the city of Bombay. And uh, well, we do have uh, more and more of these uh, units from um, City getting in. Uh, he's also slowly getting to that Cuirassier moment. He's on 90 science with 61 culture, while uh, Hazag is being kept at 34 and 55. There's, a, there's definitely a big discrepancy between the two outputs of their empires, with City managing to overwhelm his opponents. He's also pillaging as many times he can get his hoofs on, and as many of these trade routes if he can get next to them. Now we will see the next upcoming attack against the city defenses of Panda with um, those three trebuchets able to shoot. He's uh, going to want to get the knights in to finish the job and take over the captive city of his opponent. Uh, the uh, last remaining Chinese city is still standing over there. Uh, uh, China does have a city state uh, taken over in the north. And we're going to need to see. Oh, oh, I see they got the admirals. Oh my god, England rolled so many of them. Oh, oh, I mean, uh, Miel rolled so many of them. Oh my god, look at this. So, Seijun got one, and then... 
Oh my god, four of them got picked up by uh so he got the Sun Sin, he got Zenki, he has uh I don't know what that one is, the extra experience. And the first one. So four of them. Uh who got the armada? Was it his opponent? Was it the uh, Age of uh, Steam that got the armada? I think so, right? Yeah. It's Age of Steam. I see a little bit of a red dot over there. Yeah. Transforme. Un military unit. Okay. Well, we've got the Sun Sin activated. Rajen Rakola is also over there. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, he has the iron ironclad. Yes, he does. He does. He's Sun Sin. He just updated it. And it looks like he also has the uh, fleet ability on his units. He's going to need a lot more if he actually wants to uh, uh, keep up his numbers. As in, he needs a lot more units overall. It's very dangerous to actually fleet up with uh, very few units on your side. We'd love to see the damage between uh, the two navies over here to see exactly how uh, that fleet ability changed up uh, the dynamic of the damage but sure uh, in the yield stamp we do have Asticos managing to get to uh, 96 gold a turn we do have also Rom Rom on 26 Azaki 25 and Fesos on 25 on the other side we do have Cody managing to get the 235 gold alone Mir is on 141 Task for Fisher is on 103 and then Ben yes he's losing 31 gold a turn but that's a that's a drop in a bucket or a drop in a lake, if you want to call it like that. It is what it is. You let the drop flow, and then it's like... Anyway. We do have uh, Miel also jumping up to 384 production, managing to get double the numbers of uh, Asticos, for example. We do have also um, him uh, tripling the numbers of Rome Rome. That's a scary place to be. Uh, we do have also Corny on a 308 production, managing to get uh, more production than his, uh, well, I guess uh, three enemies combined. Now we do need to see if uh, Hazaki is going to get to survive with a city. And I do want to take a look if China is going to get to survive with a city. He had another one being sent to the Tundra in the north, but there were uh, frigates. Uh, uh, already being de uh, sorry uh, caravels already being deployed to that position using the city state to get uh, the upgrades going uh Ulysses, uh can use their uh, tears to wash away their enemy fleet yeah oh yeah see the water over there just send those tears flowing <laughs> like machine guns you know <laughs> yeah yeah Tearing apart the wood, the hard wood on the boats over there, letting the water flow in. Oh well, it is one of this. Okay, Panda got taken down. We do have uh, Bombay actually getting that uh, center next turn. It's gonna get spotted. We do have um, uh, ooh, one caravel. One caravel in the city of uh, Sanyang. What, what is that city? I don't know how to call it out. Shenyang, Shenyang. Okay, Shenyang. The walls are going in uh, 10 turns there, but I, I do feel like uh, he's going to start attacking, man. He needs to start attacking there. Anshan is also going to be um, more probably liberated, to be honest. Uh, Korea already has a city-state right in the south, yeah. Oh, Sejong did get the two Diplo points, by the way. Do have... Um, in Industrial uh, Miel over here getting, oh my god, he's one, he, we got a CC! We got Firsos calling out the CC, COC get the second win on the board, uh, getting to lead the path over here, 2-1 against uh, Ulysses. The first two games, they met each other, COC did manage to overwhelm their opponents over here. It looks like one time on the Highlands, a second time on Continents and Islands. Leech cannot believe this is happening. We're going to need to, oh my god, man. We're going to need to talk with them right here. Give me a second over here to actually see what's going on. Uh, give me, give me, give me a second. What is uh, post game chat, man? Post game chat, trying to figure it out. We're waiting. We're waiting. What's this? Okay. Uh, 
I guess we're going to move to debrief. Unbelievable. I got to say, unbelievable what happened today with COC managing to get a significant advantage against their opponents, uh, Ulysse. They do need to get to uh, three wins out of five. So, of course, they do need the third game on the board as well, which uh, can go either way, man. Can go either way. Let me actually uh, take a look at my uh, sound settings over here. So, I have everything uh, done. I think so. Oh, hello there. Bonsoir, monsieur. Merci beaucoup pour le restream. Bonsoir, monsieur. I hope the restream well, well, went, went well, but I think there was some some little bug. I mean, fish happen. Fish happen. Ah. <laughs> no, it's all good. Hello it's all... and GG, fish. GG. Yeah, GG, fish. GG, GG guys. You, I gotta say, fish, you retain your title of the biggest. <laughs> Dude, Hazagi's PC is so, so good. I don't know what to do besides, like, wait and wait and wait. And I uh, luckily was able to put him behind. Yeah, it was one of the ga one of the play of the games that was uh, very clutch for you. And uh, GG about it. It's the third settler of the best of three. Best of five, sorry. Yeah, actually, wait, we got two settlers stolen. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, they, they lost two settlers last game, right? Yes. One yeah, from they did. Corny. So you're three. Right now. Who, who got the second one? Like, Corny grabbed Mali Settler. I remember that. It was you who got the other one. <laughs> no, not. No, did I? I think you did. I thought it was. It was... Did you guys? I grabbed the, I grabbed the Mali you... one. And uh, you got did the you... one off. Who was it? Who was it? I don't remember. G -G oh, maybe it was Ben. Who... I thought it was someone, Ben. Someone took one up first off last time as well, I think. I don't think I stole any set last, last oh, game. So. so, how was the game, guys? Someone want to talk a bit? Yeah, uh, very fun. It... I had a good yeah. time. Yeah, how was uh, your matchup, uh, Ben? How was the uh, Legion? It was good? Pretty good, yeah. Mm hmm. We got iron on uh, do, other do you people think... a little bit late, so it was really close. Do you think there is a player there uh, he can take your city? Uh, I think I have small first move, so I think maybe not. Noram, for example, or uh, something like this, because he has positioning on uh, your if city? If he goes like Ram straight away after Legion and like starts walking, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. But then I hit civil like a lot before him, right? So yes. then I get my position back. A lot before, I, I'm not sure about it, but it was before, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much, but uh, when I hit civil, he went back and then didn't come back. Really, after that. Yeah, it was a good I mean, not point after, after I have the position. Yeah, after you got the positioning, it was a good play for you. You push the, the England. It's like uh, you have the least uh, yields in the, the game, but uh, you are attacking the two more production and uh, um, food in the game uh, in the enemy team. So it was very, very yeah. good. Uh, I mean, I also just got so much culture from uh, Gogo ability. I hit nationalism same time as my Sejong. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised when you got nationalism. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I was a bit sad, like uh, no iron. I mean, one iron, but like I was with my settler, like looking for iron. Like, where is it? I and think you I got really, find... really good position with the archers. I was really, really scared for a bit. Yeah, well, I think so if I would have gone for the ram instead of the catapults, that would have been good. Yeah, maybe. But I didn't. I could also get the walls one turn faster, but I wanted to chop, um, like. At the start of the turn, but if I put the card in on the same turn, I get in the same turn, but I thought I can mm -hmm. get without card and like uh, get it faster because I don't know. Yeah, that was good. Cards. When I see the wall and I know that you're going to have military alliance before me, I'm like, okay, I'm going to resettle, but then yeah. England going to get pushed. So that's I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense for you to push into me because otherwise I just derail England completely for free. Yeah, but, yeah, I have uh, to, but I think if I play better, I could kill Argos, or at least that would have been very important, but it didn't happen. Maybe uh, you he... can just play for the CS kill, 
and then just hold England for a bit and like sim a bit more. I don't know, but it's really hard. Like for me, I'm so locked in. Like I really cannot go anywhere. Well, that CS was good for my early. I don't know. I went Magnus and I put Amani. I put my trader with a quest in it. So I get like uh, six culture and uh, two food, two production and seven gold, something like this. Which I thought was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, anyway, really slim margin, like one more turn and I lose the city and then I probably full die. And it's a really different game. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, maybe like and... I I waited like because I, we had only one iron that we could get fast, which was mine. And I was like going to grow yeah, on it in four I also turns. Had... So no, I, I waited to grow on it instead of buying it in four turns. So I could have had like one legend like four turns earlier, uh, but just one. Mm -hmm. I think I need to contest the positioning much more with Archer's early game. Because after you got your two Archer's in position, I can never get rid of them. It was so hard for me to defend my city. I think I just need to make three, four Archer's instead of four plates, maybe, early. Mm -hmm. Or just, like, sacrifice some hot plates. I think some Archer, um, maybe more early, could have been better for you for defend, yeah. But uh, yeah. you defend pretty well because it was, uh, I think, a good land to Legion push uh, on you with your matchup and uh, about the strategic in the, in, in the game too. It was chaos uh, at, the start of, uh, at the start of the game, so it was uh, really hard, uh, I think, for the for the, for the game for the for, for the team. Sorry. And yeah. I had, I had a question, uh, Stikos. Did you think uh, with uh, Rob Ron to maybe do a double push? With some horses, with, um, I, with I no, saw because my head, but uh, we didn't have enough strategy because we had uh, like, go, yeah. already three, three civilization fighting. So we need all the horses on uh, on Firsos pretty much for a long time, and then you know I start to have iron, so I go with the legions. But like I think my legion push comes late. Like it comes, I don't know, almost I think seven, eight turns later than what I would like. And did you think about Osroch at the beginning or not? No, I cannot because I know we're going to need the, her yeah, horses yeah. on the Fiercers and I know I'm going to meet Oplites. So... Yeah, I mean, Osroch on Greece, I don't think that's very good. Of course. No, I just thought uh, that's good. I have my free warrior on the border. Like, I'm going to upgrade them and <laughs> let's go, you know, and like, I can't. I mean, I could, but like super late. What about you, Fiercers? It was a new play for you? Last I, time, I don't think uh, one of us had a really good um, I don't know. It was very huge matchup in your game, uh, Korea against Kubilai China, and you decided to horse rush quite directly uh, on the on the Korea I on Corny. I mean, if I go for commercial hub or something like that, he just gonna have five uh, district uh, with discounts and everything, 50-50 super super early. I don't know what to do else. I think he has to horse rush, like that's the only thing. What did you think about the draft, by the way, guys? Did you feel happy with your draft? No, we wanted your draft, actually. <laughs> we want to jump uh, from a cliff. We prepared we the draft to first pick Sejong, <laughs> you know, and then uh, we're like, oh, Shona is open. We have to pick Shona. Oh, really? <laughs> and then you get our draft that we had prepared. Yeah, we're really happy with our draft for sure. That's really funny. Yeah, <laughs> we're, honestly, we wanted the same draft uh, from our preparation. <laughs> if <laughs> like, you uh... take uh, Seyong first, we probably don't even pick Chandra. We probably take Gogo and Scotland. Scotland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was quite surprised to not see Scotland. In yeah, the... we were as well. Mm. Uh, I, when I saw uh, Sejong, I was like, it is a big pick, but, uh, but there is still uh, Sejong uh, Scotland in the pool, so maybe they can uh, match up against. And we were thinking to pick too... Sejong in Scotland, maybe, but uh, Gogo just... Uh... Ah, yeah, too much. <laughs> yeah, then not... Uh, no, like no, too... Gogo, uh, Gogo very good, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we get in a situation where Chandra is going to get his uh, initiation rate denied by Sivtia, probably. Uh, like statistically, that I got a relic and I was gonna push, so I took it. We also thought you might pick Scythia as well in the second phase. Yeah, I think it's a really good pick for the map. Just because I know Firstos plays it a bit. 
or like a lot maybe even yeah. and uh, uh, so, sorry, I was just uh, seeing in, the, in my game screen. Uh, there is still no fight in the sea, guys. It was uh, chill on the, <laughs> on the mat. <laughs> Gentleman <laughs> agreement. Gentleman <laughs> agreement. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, Rob, how, how was you? How was you? I, 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 I'm sorry, but when you see that amount of pre-build of caravel to start front of you with the frigator, you were you were like. Uh, I mean, I was asking uh, Astikos to unlock me Admiral because at this point, the only mm. thing that can uh, turn the yeah. tide was that, if I can snipe a uh, good one. Uh, <laughs> but I met Terracotta, so I have all bots level 1, so it can help defend. But uh, yeah. at, at this point, I needed to clutch the naval, not defend. But I, I think I can defend, but I, I cannot push. I mean, probably so... I need... Sorry. Probably I need to wait for Ironclad, so like four turns more or something before I can actually push. Easy yeah, piece. I think that was stalemate until Ironclad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. There was also Ironclad for me from the other side. I don't think it's possible for you. <laughs> yeah, but of course, we have uh, two people dying. We yeah. cannot win in the long run, that's why we see it. But uh, I think we bought was asking the... about this timing, like right now. So We unlocked the Admirals, but yeah. then no one ever took, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. because. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think you were stuck in the in the... In the, tr in the screen, right? And it didn't update for you or something? Yeah, it didn't update. My turn yeah. ends kind of early. So. But then I had most points, so I anyways got it next turn. To pick <laughs> first. But then I picked the wrong one, so... <laughs> and I cannot scale uh, as good as I want because I have Gorgo uh, right of me. So I cannot really make a lot of city. Mm -hmm. I mean, your cap actually looked really, really yeah, good. Yeah, my cap was inside. Uh, I had very, very good tempo. And you but, had uh, the 10 faith hut as well to get uh, a bit of seed. Yeah, I had, first uh, is, I had uh, First is also quite, quite a bit of pressure on well. Yeah, like with game pressure that. actually, I had to do a lot and I lost a lot of traders. He actually got a lot of. Yeah, value. is that why we had some gold to up? But uh, mm -hmm. we have very, very low GPT. Uh, GPT. Yeah. I think you had more than us. I mean, we did eco alliance, me and Courtney. So we had some, even and though you're... I was land trading to him. You have some uh, land uh, naval trading now between Korea and the uh, city. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had only uh, Rome and me trading in land, so not uh, not that good. But you have naval traders between Rome and uh, Chernogupt as well, no? <laughs> yeah. 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 I only yeah. have uh, traders now. <laughs> I have six traders now, but I didn't have during the game. I mean, I need city on the coast to to trade with Rome. Now it's not possible anymore. <laughs> How many of you guys are playing Hidden Cap tomorrow? You not cannot many. say, it's hidden. <laughs> oh <my> God, uh... <laughs> really? Wait, no, but you know who's participating. No, no? there is the list of players in uh, announcement. Don't yeah, worry, if, so, if, if someone plays the unit before you, you know, you know who he is. I think there's two of us. Okay, guys. GG yeah. again. Play. Thank you, everybody, okay, for the uh, game. See you and Sunday, GG. See, and see you Sunday. <laughs> see you, Michael. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Bonsoir. So there we have it. We heard from both teams. Uh, COC gets another point on the board against their opponents. We did have, um, uh, by the way, the announcement over here uh, being made by Hazagi about uh, tomorrow. Siren Cup. We got Man, Tiritz, Brigan, JR, Chuck, Hazagi, Atritri, Atalasta, Shunsu, Spirke, Ice Look, Papa Chilling, Under the Gun, and Bispis uh, on the invite uh, screen. We also have uh, the qualifiers uh, for the FFA through the um, uh, FFA. Um, um, Ranking uh, the story Alexis Kremp, B1, when when uh, Niax, uh, Consol, TPI, Biscuit, uh, Floppy Flon, G, Pulp, and uh, Jules Fallart. So we're gonna need to see tomorrow what's gonna happen in this um, hidden cup tonight. We did see COC managing to get that uh, second win on the board against uh, Ulysses, then 2 1 above uh, Ulysses in the point screen. Then we're gonna need to see on Sunday if they can get that three third win going, the trio, the wham bam, or Ulysses is gonna get.
to the ties. We're gonna need to check that out. A possible fourth game. It might happen in this uh, finals of the CWC season eight. Thank you so much every for everything, uh, everybody. Much appreciated for the bits. Much appreciated for also the subs, the gifts, and of course your appreciation of this uh, stream. I hope uh, if you're coming up from YouTube, you're gonna enjoy this content. And throw it a thumbs up, a big one, a big thumbs up over there. Don't forget to actually join me on the live stream on Twitch.tv uh, slash on Sport TV. S click that subscribe button to get all of the notifications and a little bell uh, to actually get uh, the notifications have a good evening everybody and see you next time tomorrow uh, 1100 gmt hidden cap here we go good evening bye bye, bye.